I think I hear something. Yeah, I do oh, too. Do not panic. I will fight them. Um, maybe we don't need to. <laughs> Do we just do we be quiet or how do we how do we deal with the situation? Okay, maybe. I am feeling slightly anxious. If we're quiet and they all kill each other, we can pick their corpses afterwards. Ah, sounds great. And I have more things to put in exactly. my exactly. Perfect. Let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, but if they attack the cave, we kill them. Either of you can make a perception check to try and see what's going on. Sure. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Well, we made the start, the, uh, the good old and fashioned. then we all got the staff. Yeah. So yeah. fine. It's all good. Hello and welcome to Lose the Dice. My name is Matt Bateman. Welcome to episode 19 of the show. We are joined, as always, by the silvered <coughs> Sasha Burgoyne, the gilded Guy oh. Samuels, the refined Rose Redon, mm. and the diamond crusted David Cox. Oh, Woo! I love it! Check out that DC. That coming was in great. That, that, yeah, no, big, no. that was action. really good. Thank well, you. you get done. inspiration. Um, <laughs> yeah, great, did, you, great. did you just give the DM she just inspiration? Did. She just did. Cool. I'm going to use that. I'm going to remember that's going to come up. I swear to God, if he rerolls at a pivotal moment, yeah, it'll be, hopefully be one of my death saves again. So you know. <laughs> or I just impose disadvantage on one of you instead. That's also hey. something I could do that anyway. That's no fun. Anyway, uh, it's great to hear. Be here. He here. Be here. A uh, couple of quick things before we get started. Before you do the question and answer stuff, um, we're doing our next episode oh, on the 31st. Is going to be live. Uh, so make sure you, you come and check that out. We're going from 7.30 p.m., British Standard Time, whatever that actually means. British Summer Time. British Summer Time. There you go. I'm not from this country. I don't know how things work. Wait, it doesn't stand for Standard? Yeah. No, that's GMT. British Summer Time. Look at that. British Mean British Time. Summertime. British Summer Time. Greenwich Mean Time. Why do we have our own summer time? Yeah, why, do we, why do we need summer? Ah, ah, ah. So we have this because, and uh, someone will correct me vehemently in the comments. Props and <laughs> no, it's, uh, I believe it stems back from, was it World War One? Oh my God. Don't look at why are you Good looking at me? Do you know why? Um, because it was to get an extra hour of farming time in. Uh, in the summer it when the good. sun I is up earlier. I said crops and farming wow. and you said no. I wanted to give the appropriate point. historical context. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, however, it's probably fucking wrong. I'm going to check in the uh, break. Um, issue a formal apology, no doubt. The, the general idea took a long time to sort of pick up, but the general idea being that they move the clocks forward or back so humans are typically awake at regular business hours or farming hours or working hours when the sun will go up and go down. I think the so, people who watch this show are going to love this extended they really, They really are. Anyway. <laughs> we know what you like. We do. We do. We, we've done the market audience for, uh, research, yep. and, and here we are. So we're going to skip this right here. This is for the algorithm. Model one fun fact. <laughs> so, Every Hells, yeah. instead, of, instead of inflicting the dice rolls, uh, we have a question from Jeffa, who's next door. Say hi, Jeffa. Hi. There we go. <laughs> uh, question to the group. Would you either roll only nat 1s and nat 20s for the rest of the campaign or never roll a crit? Again, good or bad. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Oh, the highs are so good, but the lows, the lows are, so are so bad. The lows are so punishing. And this is also including like annoying feats that lead to 19 and 20. You're never allowed to crit ever again. I, I think I'd go... When you get a natural, you get natural 20, 20. Or a natural one. Gotcha. Or a natural one. So the good good thing, lord. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been playing this game? 19, 19 episodes. episodes. You have a level 5 <laughs> and a year that. Wake up, guy. Wake up. You have the most what? complicated character of all of us. And oh, you're no. saying, you're like, oh, no. so... Uh, I just got into character of B22. It says, uh, it says 2 time. 0 on me die. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you weren't adding your modifiers for spellcasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nine <laughs> weeks, yeah. Um, oh, so, so a crit, yeah, but you said either roll D1s or D20s all the time. You will never roll a natural 1 or a natural 20 yep. ever again. Yep. Or only roll nat 1s and nat 20s from oh, now I on. I see, yep. I see. I okay. think I'd go with never because I'm a boring, boring person who likes middle of the road things. That's my answer. I. As the walking nat 1. <laughs> with your character, with your roles, that sounded a lot meaner than I meant it. So. I thought you were pointing that at Rose. <laughs> no, I'm no. talking to David as well. I no, I do roll a Is it just that table? <laughs> oh, Should Guy and I never ever come over there? <laughs> Stolen David's soul. <laughs> you have, yeah. <laughs> Just been called a walking nat one. <laughs> That's one of the harshest well, things. Well, someone this. should. <laughs> Look at his face. He knows he's done wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fuck off. You can, have ins- you can have inspiration. Okay. Yay! <laughs> oh, that's how today is going. Yeah. yeah. Right. Give me inspiration. inspiration. Anyway, uh, because this intro has already gone on long enough. Um, no fucking rules today. Nat ones and nat twenties for comedy basis. Good. Mm. Love it. Nat ones and nat twenties as well. Good. Yeah, thirded. Oh, yeah. I'm Lovely. just boring. 
No, no, but you're no, the no. one who's going to have. You're the one that keeps the other three grounded. Yeah, no, sensible, sensible aka part. boring. Also, one thing, one thing I've noticed, and this is like the last dumb observation. This is like very like computer, like D and D Beyond on this side, and this is all like classic pen and paper on this side. Mm. I feel like gonna clash on there a little. Bit. Anyway, because we're old school bitches. Yeah, we're Gen sure. Z. Yeah, Gen Z. Cool. Cool. we're so very Gen Z. Look at us. Yes, yo. They're so yes, useful over when, there. I, when I think about the sort of grey trim, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gen Z plus twenty years. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I was Gen Z once. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yes. Long, long ago. Back in my day, Gen Z was. <laughs> we used to have MSN Messenger. <laughs> oh. We used to begin our conversations with ASL. <laughs> do kids do that now? I guess they don't. No, 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 no. no. This, All of these references are completely gone over all of their heads. Nah, you're going to meet all the people Such who watch on this age. Oh, I just remember a little like. Do, 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 do. You like sign in and out. Like mm-hmm. Anyway, I remember sharing love name. on Bebo. Oh, mm. Bebo. Do you remember the dial up tome? Yes. You're right. It's been a long intro, hasn't it? It's great. No, I've... <laughs> <laughs> With that, Sorry, get a drink, off. kick off, turn off the dial-up, get on the broadband. You need. To... Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, I missed you guys. Settle so in. Much. Episode 19 of Who Lives Who Dies. <sighs> Let's fucking do it. All right. <laughs> Welcome back. Last episode, um, our heroes took a moment of refuge uh, in an old shack just outside the town of Milford. Had some heart to heart, some much needed conversations, some difficult conversations, um, before being rudely interrupted by D22's curiosity as he stumbled across a mimic. A short and ineffective fight uh, ensued with the party moving on, with both Mayway and Myla still exhausted. They headed up through the mountains narrowly avoiding a dwarven patrol, taking refuge in a cave as the sun started to set. Mayawe, uh, needing to take sleep, had discovered a powdered drug called Blue Root, and without consulting any of her friends, proceeded to immediately snort the drug. <coughs> snort the drug. Oh, really? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Drop to the floor and promptly fall asleep. So, Mayawe. You breathe it in, and this wave of blue powder envelops your vision, your eyes. Everything seems to sort of, like, shift out of focus. You slip to the side a little bit, and everything just fades away. And you're back in the Val. Everything's heightened. Everything's colourful. Everything's happy. And you get the sense of anything could be achieved if you want. Almost at will, you can bring up any memory, any memory of, of, of your friends, your favourite taverns, your time in the library, your moments growing up. The housekeeper, the old mills where your parents worked on Rylinthium. And for now you feel very calm and at peace and probably the most relaxed you felt in a very, very long time. And you sit, you sigh, and for now you find yourself just enjoying visiting every happy memory you've ever had. Meanwhile, the rest of you see Mayway walk towards the back of the cave, snort some powder she found in a, in a shack, and collapse in a heap. There was no build-up, there wasn't like a... It was just out like a light. What happens next? Alexei's going to go over. Yeah. Um, essentially just uh, go over, kind of put her onto her back. Sure. See... 
Eyes open, eyes closed. Eyes, eyes are closed. A giant smile spreads across her face. And with each breath, a slight blue mist comes out of her nose and the corners of her mouth with each breath, just like a soft vapor slowly evaporating. That's kind of creepy. Um, I, 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 I was rather thinking that um, uh, it's blue. Is that anything that you, you're fami- familiar with, with at all? Are you asking me that because I'm blue? Um, well, it's the thing in your staff is blue. I, I wasn't sure right. if there was a link. Uh, no, it's just a pretty rock. Ah, right. She looks like she's having fun. Um, yeah, 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 yes. Um, I'm gonna, gonna um, try and shake her awake. Uh, yeah, go for it. Um, make a medicine check for me, please. <laughs> uh. For me? Natural 20. Wow. Oh. Plus? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you lift her up slightly and you, you, you go through and you make sure. She sort of fell in a crumpled heap, so you make sure her back's straight and you hold her neck and you softly shake her. You feel a slight sense that mm. there's something else pushing on the back of your head at this point. Mm. You still very much under the effect of this, but you feel like maybe you could shift away a little bit if you wanted to. I was just given my first pony. <laughs> Mayway not going anywhere. <laughs> Mayway doesn't respond. She continues to sleep and even lets out a little whine. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, 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 uh. I will say, say with the with a natural twenty, yeah, you immediately recognise this as as blue root, and it's it's a drug specifically from the Val developed by the Filveral to invoke sleep, but also to revisit the happiest memories a individual or a creature could possibly have. And she is well under. Do I know how long for? Uh, you would know it's going to be at least six hours. Ah, uh, oh, all right. Well, 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 well she's fine. Okay, good. Um, it, it's a, uh, it's actually uh, this. Uh, I've, I've read about this. It's um, it's a drug uh, developed uh, in, in the Val uh, to help elves sleep, like I, I, I do. What uh, is it called? Blue root. Blue she, root. Yes, she is currently uh, experiencing every mm. happy memory she has. Uh, also, mm. she's useless to us for the next six hours. She can't wake up. Uh, Perhaps I could hit her over the head. I, I, mm, I, I, I would be hesitant of um, including blunt force trauma I- into um, a drug-induced sleep. Mm. Any sort of concussion um, then, then would potentially lead to further brain damage. And she did just have her ear blown off, so maybe mm-hmm. letting her have six hours in happy land isn't the worst thing in the world. Mm-hmm. Can we take this drug too? I would not suggest it. I don't know if you can. That The pouch lies next to her hand, lying on the ground. Do you want to do something stupid? <laughs> <laughs> she says sleepily. <laughs> Reliving her happiest this memories. My, my very first, do you want to do something stupid with the tavern keeper's son? Except all the goblins are happy friends. <laughs> the tavern keeper's son. May way, you dark horse. <laughs> <laughs> what are the rest of you up to? Milo's just kind of like looking at her, like mildly concerned, but also mildly irritated. <laughs> She's sort of flicking between the two. <laughs> She's not sure how she feels about this. D20 has got a little, a little uh, finger piece, slides off, a mm-hmm. tiny, tiny little vacuum. It's like, just, just a tiny bit of powder. Just, 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 uh, yeah? Just to suck it up. Yeah. Sure, are you, are you attempting to ingest it? <laughs> Potentially, yeah. Cool kids do drugs. Cool kids don't do drugs. Okay. Go on. You must have seen this coming. He didn't. He totally he didn't. He didn't How did he not see this coming? Look like at those little, little Dyson vacuums. You know, you get at Christmas. It's like one of those on his finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goes... Like the little USB ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you suck it up. Wraps up around your arm, goes up through, and you feel the sort of like 
sluggish sort of energy come up through your arm and suddenly this pressure behind your eyes as you feel this power sort of expanding through your brain and suddenly the same as Mayway starts to cover up the eyes but instead of dark and out of focus everything just goes blue what you two see is the powder once ingested is now trying to fill the nervous system of D22's face but instead it's just expanded and now his head's just full of powder mm. has anything changed uh, um you've got a lot of powder in your head do you feel okay i don't feel any different make a constitution saving throw for me please oh mm. shit dog <laughs> it's been a while where is my constitution we're just going to be replaying off. episode 18.5 <laughs> yeah let's have another little <clears throat> reminisce it'd be great 21 21 okay um Beyond immediately you both hear a couple of fans were on the back, and <laughs> similar to like how the vapor comes out, the fans start to, and so it just starts like going in the back. Um, I need most of you to make dexterity saving throws, please, and that'll be caught cool in the wind blast as this pushes out. Oh no! Um, oh no, it's okay. Thirteen. Thirteen. That's a save. Fourteen. Okay, you both, you both, you both manage to like duck out of the way quickly enough as this cloud pops mm-hmm. out. Um, I will say that's used a full dose. There's only, I think, two doses left in the pouch after this. I'm so. going to take this. Yeah. That wasn't as fun as I thought it would be. Uh, it, it. <laughs> you, you do feel D22, your memory recall, at least for now, you feel like you're a little bit sharper and you can pick things up a little bit quicker. Mm. Um, so I'm going to give you a plus one bonus to intelligence checks mm. for the next... Plus one. <laughs> I'm not taking nine out of my hours. inventory. Oh. Yeah. Nice. So any intelligence check or saving throw, back, back. Um, any okay. skill on that. <laughs> You're not going to get it. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm going to wrestle it off of you. Finally nice. have that fisty cup fight. Which you're not allowed to use the ring for. The ring of punching. <laughs> oh, the ring of punching. <laughs> uh, Alexi has got the bag. He's got inside pocket. I'm going to keep this from now on because apparently we have people just t- taking drugs without... Yes, it should be okay though. There are now two doses left. Do you have a slow down setting? Sorry, excuse me, I don't understand what you mean. Right, um, okay. Uh, he's overclocking. Do you need to sit down? No, I feel absolutely fine. Great, do you want to jog on spot? Sure. He starts ching, 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 ching. <laughs> Alexi is going to turn around back to the mouth of the cave. So that was like, fucking hell. <laughs> and as, as you look out over the horizon, you see the sun starting to set. But you don't hear any other noises apart from the clanking of... D22's heavy-ish armor yep. bouncing against his body. Maybe we'll very girlish giggle. Alexi, um, <clears throat> there are two doses left? Yes. I have a suggestion that when Mayway is most stressed about us having to, you know, stay safe or something, that you and I both take that. <laughs> <laughs> Alexi just holds out his hand to shake my hand. <laughs> uh, ruin everything. Uh, brilliant. Wonderful. Yes, uh, I, I, I wholeheartedly um, recommend us being as irresponsible as possible at the worst possible time. Let's make poor decisions. Hmm. Yes. Wasn't it? Um, You're asleep. No, I'm asking the DM question. Hi. Matt. Yes. What's up? Was it not bedtime? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like, well, like, okay. yeah it's, okay. it's early it evening. Just like, like we need to go up the mountain now. No, but we are being hunted. Yeah. Yeah, well, Me- I have two levels of exhaustion, and I knew where that shit Me- Mechanically, you weren't really sleep. at the point where you could take a long rest yet, but that's why this can induce that, <laughs> even if you need to. I think that's why you were just like, fuck it, I take the thing. Yeah, the, the, I need to get rid of these yeah. exhaustion points. The, the others can, um, because you had a late one, so if you guys want to rest, we can do a long rest now if you want to, is basically what I'm saying, the rest of you. <sighs> well, I mean, I guess we're just going to camp out here until... Six, six hours at least. Yes. Does anyone want to stay up and discuss business ideas? <laughs> um. Didn't you suppose you have another line of that good stuff? Do you? <laughs> I love you guys. I. I. No. It, you, it, no. What you, sort you of business servants. ideas? Business ideas. We could start a business together, the three of us, or a clan. Like, oh, oh, like, like what? Like a new business idea. Uh, trading. Uh, cleaning. Right. Um. How about a disposal business? Disposal business is fine, as long as I do not do the disposing myself. Oh, okay. Uh, I was well, thinking I, you'd be I, an expert, so... I am very good at disposing of things. <laughs> oh, well, yes, I suppose he's, if he's been doing it for long enough, then he... You know. What if we became one of those um, 
groups, like the mercenary groups, that people hire to go and do things. Like assassins? Yes. Mm. Um, no, no, no. Post off no. assassins. Uh, no, no, so uh, but, but, well, first of all, let's let's not form any uh, murder cults while we're high on drugs. <laughs> um, uh, next. Um, I'm not high on yeah, drugs. <laughs> I'm a sloop. Um, uh, first of all, uh, do, do you mean like a, a mercenary company? Yes, that's what I said. No, 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 you said gang of assassins. He, he you know... Assassin's Guild. Uh, uh, right, right, right. Um, it would bring a whole new meaning to dispose of Mmm. Dispose right, now, of all your troubles. Right, he's mm. high. What's your excuse? I'm an enabler. Th- that is true. Um, right, no, we, we won't be forming any um, assassin guilds, uh, murder cults, um, business conglomerates, or, or, <laughs> or um, y- y- you know, any of the above. Mm-hmm. Um, we're, we're, we're going to have a rest. Uh, we're, we're going to wait for um, Miss Draghi over there to wake up, um, and then we're going to go and kill a man who's missing an arm. Ah, we should kill him now. No, 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 no because she's still a- asleep. Do you understand? Yes. Right. I can keep guard. Yes. I am an excellent guard. You are. Do you want help? No. <laughs> right. Uh, one of us is going to have to watch with him, obviously. I'm I can fine. do it on my own, it's fine. No, no. <laughs> I don't think you need need it, but I don't I don't need to sleep for a bit, and I can only sleep for four hours, so I can stay up with you for a little bit. Well, it, it is only early evening, I, I, I'm yeah. not particularly tired. But we may as well just stay here for now. Um, so, curiously, apparently this thing just gives you all happy memories, did you? And you not, you, you, it's not giving you anything. I have no happy memories, just a desire to talk and a slight gurning feeling. <laughs> right. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> no kids watch this show. Yeah. I have a feeling tomorrow I will have an existential crisis. <laughs> oh, I have those every other day, you'll be all right. <laughs> right, um... Well, yes, apparently it just gives you all constant happy memories. I, sure. Well, it makes you relive your happy memories. Yes. It doesn't just give them to yes. you. Yes, yes. Yeah. Pa? It comes from the corner of the room. She's gone from the tavern keep's son to pie. <laughs> Curious woman. Um, right, well, I guess we see it and just, you know. Do we want to try and make some more health potions? Yes. Do we have enough uh, ingredients? Potentially. Oh. Have a look. Lovely. Uh, um, yes, then we'll, 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 we'll try that. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want to help? I can help. Yes. How yeah. can I help? We're uh, going to make potions. Make potions. Yes, because think about it. If Myla and I learn how to make potions, mm-hmm. we can sell them. Ah, for money. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you know how... Uh, Health potions sell for a lot of money. Mm. So, ching ching. Yeah, it, indeed. Would you like to show me how you make them? Um, we don't know yet. How are you learning? Uh, well, well I, I, I have. Trial and mostly error. Uh, Alexi is going to go through one of the bags and just go, um, I have books o- on them. Um, right, so you picked up some herbs and whatnot, didn't you, recently? Right, mm. okay. Here's, here's the almanac. Um, Thanks. Can you make a potion to kill? Uh, you mean poison? Yes. Ah, um, yes, that's a bit more in my sort of uh, domain. Mm, have you made one before? No. I accidentally made one that let you breathe fire. Mm. So we'll see what happens this time. Yes, right. Uh, Question, well did you hand me the almanac or did you accidentally hand me the other book? <laughs> he is distracted. <laughs> what, what? It's the almanac. <laughs> Um, okay. Namely because David has not written a passage from the last lusty <laughs> Leviathan yet. <laughs> it's probably for the best. Yeah. <laughs> because when that comes out and Alexi does a dramatic reading, which he will. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to try and make a health potion. And Absolutely. I will assist. Cool. Um, bear with me one second. If anything needs stirring, we've got an extra whisk. Emphatic stirring. I will curdle whatever that is. 
<laughs> you whipped nicely. <laughs> okay, shake vigorously. D22, this needs to be shaken slowly. Okay. <laughs> I took this as slow as I could. <laughs> it's like Angel Delight. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, how good was Angel Delight? Oh, oh yeah, there again, there's another Gen Z reference right there. Mm. <laughs> sure. Um, so, just just more for a story flavor, how how do you go about crafting this? All right, get the herbalism kit out. Yep. And uh, the almanac. Great. Also, Find the yep. pages. Yep. Separating healing properties from poisonous properties Great. and so on, things like that. Um, you know, probably a lot of Alexia and Marge up oh, just kind of like reaching over each other to grab stuff. Yep. Um, and kind of like, yeah, Alexia's going to get his old mortar and pestle and start grinding stuff up. Cute. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. I, you know what? I weirdly imagine they've got like a kind of Alexia's holding like a beaker between some tongs and Myla's just like casting a fire beneath it. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, so, just mechanically, I do need a gem or something else to be used with this as well. We've got we a bunch have of gems. gems. Yeah. 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 Guy has the actually. I think I have the gems. Um, the gems. But not yet, but I will. No, I mean you have the sheet with oh, the yes. stuff. Oh, yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, please. Yep. Tough. And what's D22? Well, these guys are. Or are you, all three of you doing this together? Yeah, like, yeah, D22 is assisting. Yeah, D22 is watching, but okay, as, cool. he's, um, as he's doing that, so I remember he's, he's throwing um, a bag of gems. unscrewing, yes. unscrewing yes. parts of his arm with his, yes. with his uh, weapon. I'm just cool. trying to find where they are. Yeah. So, <clears throat> you've got the diamonds. Yeah, but you're not having those. Okay, look, no. we can we can figure out the specifics. That's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's fine. some gems though. Um, Alexi would probably just come to Mayway. I need to borrow this. <laughs> have to like <laughs> make an investigation check. DM. Yeah, sure. Um, it's if, a low DC. If, if, if Alexi's looking concerned <laughs> about investigating Mayway's person, Milo oh, will go seven, and he most definitely is. Uh, yeah, Milo uh, seven. Will, he's like, uh, oh, uh, mm. Milo will just go <laughs> and be like, um, I'll I'll check. I'll check uh, it. Uh, thank you. I, I, you can check with advantage as well. Thank you. That's wonderful. Fun. Probably useful. Thank you. Um, investigation. Yes. Fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. Without without Random a problem. I mean, Mayweather's asleep like like this basically. Yeah. Just 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 sprawled out. Um. Cool. So one of you needs to make an Arcana check, and because you've got a lot of assistance, I'll let you do it at advantage. Mine's oh, pretty good. Yep. Yeah, it'll be you. Okay. Wait. <laughs> or you. Uh, oh. Yeah. I've got sick arcana. Do you want to see me arcane? Do it. Oh. <laughs> Advantage, buddy. Yeah, Advantage, yes. Because yeah, yeah, you've got all three of you doing this together. Go for it, go on. So it's, a, it's, a, go. it's combined. I'm helping. <gasps> Ooh, yes. 18 plus seven. Uh, seven. Nice. 25. Okay. Right. <coughs> so and expert. Yeah, he's smart enough. Um, plus you get another bonus one as well on top of that for your blue power. Oh, yeah, you That's an intelligence check. So it's 26. Because I gave you a plus one oh, for nice. your. Oh, nice, yeah, great. You're Go remember. Definitely Thank not you. cocaine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. 26. Yeah. Um, roll, roll a d4 for me. Certainly. Two. Great, cool. Um, so, expertly, as you guys sort of mix and come through, and then d22 comes in <laughs> and ties it all up, and like to an exact amount, the measurements are bang on, everything from the almanac, and all three of you are like eyes like scanning, both the room at the same time, the fire, you sort of like. Nudge Milo a little bit to like turn up the heat just a little bit and like correct the staring a little bit. But yeah, with that, uh, you get two uh, minor health potions. Yay. Out of that. Brilliant. So, 2d4 plus two. You can divvy those out as you the water wipe the health potions. You've still got yours, right? Um, mm, no, I used mine in the last fight. Can I have that, please? Yes, you can. Thank you. You, have, you haven't used your. You have do you, used do yours, you two, do you two want them? Because, because you two should your, have them. It was your idea to do it. No, no, but I don't need them because I get people up with other things. Okay. So, you just turn, yeah. so don't throw, don't throw! <laughs> the only reason I need Thank one you. is for other people to get me up, but okay. you can all use yours on me. Yeah. Alexi, would you like to buy a second health potion? <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. Would um, you like... No. <laughs> <laughs> Myla's like, I am a health potion. Mm. Yeah. Uh, no, not, not literally, don't try and drink her. <laughs> or sell me. I would never sell you. Thank you. I'd never sell you. I would Unless never I sell you, Alexi, like, like, nor are you. So not not quite two hours passes in this time to create these health potions. The sun has now truly gone down. Mm-hmm. The stars are, are on a, a cold but very, very sort of clear night. Mayway continues to snore and giggle and make all manner of... Make like random little bits of mm. sleep talking. Yeah, there we go. 
Um, is anyone keeping watch during all this? Um, no, no, you're not. not. So not let's see what bit. happens. <laughs> oh okay, God. carrying on. Um, but once we've done the health potions, Milo will go and have a look. Check. We'll poke out the cool. cave. Make a um, perception check. Do you want to come with? Um, yeah, one. Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put you back. Cheers. Perception. Please. Uh, eighteen. You you nice. you look out cool. and the ground is quite quite still, quite flat. There's a little bit of frost which is starting to gather across wherever those dwarves went before. Seem to be long gone. There's not a sight or sound, as far as you can tell at this point. Seems pretty quiet. Everything hanky dory. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um. <laughs> <laughs> just, just furiously. <laughs> I mean, if you want to get some sleep, you can. Uh, well, uh, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure Mayway doesn't, you know, die. Yep. We can take <laughs> it from here, 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 here. here. <laughs> Good night. Good luck. Thank you. Um, Myla's going to also like nudge Alexi as he's going to be like, he's very good at science club, but I think too good. <gasps> <laughs> no, it's, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I, are you, I'm a bit. Are you banning me from? Are you both banning me from science club? I think we this made is like town. school we all made, over again. We, <laughs> I'm D and D to escape. School and you're bringing whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, I haven't said shit yet. <laughs> all right. We made our Kana Club last week for this exact reason. Yeah. The last session. I, um, I'm, I'm, I'm worried. I, I might not be able to keep up. Oh, um, well, that's. Forgive me, um, I'm, I'm going to be very blunt now, but that, that may be the dumbest thing you've ever said. It, it, Science Club is not about how intelligent one is. It, 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 it's about creatively um, coming up with new uh, ideas uh, and, and, and um, ways in which we can not only like uh, advance ourselves, but also our, our, our friends. Um, whether or not it is just it's something that you and I do, or it's something that, you know, the entire group partakes in, doesn't ultimately matter. What what matters is that we, you know, we, first of all, we all support each other, uh, and and that we're, well, and that we're trying to help each other. This started with you and I wanting to understand more, and if through it, D22 is able to understand more of himself, then by that definition, um, wouldn't Science Club have been a roaring success? I... Do you remember how I asked you to kind of keep it between us initially? Hmm. It's because I'm 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 a bit embarrassed about not knowing about any of this stuff, and I was never very smart, and um, I was never the one who was just good at good at stuff, you know, like the the sort of school side, and you clearly are, and D clearly is, and you know, Mayway literally works for the library. May I? I, I, I disagree rather strongly. I, I think that you are a remarkably intelligent, talented woman. Um, it's, it's not a case of understanding. Uh, intelligence comes in many different forms. One does not simply understand algebraic equations to... What? It, Maths. Um, it, it's more than that. Um, you you can look at someone and and know if they're telling the truth, or, or you can see things in a room which I can't. It's you have a intelligence that goes far beyond anything I'm ever going to be capable of. I 
have good eyesight? Yes. You've good everything. You're a proficient spellcaster. You can understand animals. You And you're a tank. This is in the corner of the room. <laughs> you I understand what you're feeling, I, I think. But here's why it's strange. I don't think that you're the one that's not suited here. I think that I am. And I think that he thinks he is, and so does she. And that's the thing that binds us. We all think that we're not here. We're not supposed to be here, but maybe we are. And maybe that's fine. Okay. I'll think about it. Okay. I'm going to go and make sure that our friend doesn't uh, swallow her own tongue or something. Yeah, that's good. Put her in the recovery position. Uh, uh, yes, I... <laughs> oh, she's rolled out of it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she's thrashing, she's thrashing. <laughs> you, you go and put Mayway to bed. Make sure she's safe. And yep. curl, up, curl up yourself. And as you uh, curl up, or like you can't know how you just hear, that's pretty romantic. Make a witness. D twenty two. You look out onto the quiet, rocky landscape. A small glimpse of Milford just flickering slightly in the distance under the moonlight. Mm -hmm. What are you up to? Um, he's currently rocking back and forward. His hands are kind of tapping against the, the table. He's um, completely taken apart his crossbow mm -hmm. and uh, and taken off um, an enchantment on there. And he, uh, with the other hand, has written a massive long list, which just you can see at the top of his bag of holding, and there's diagrams everywhere, and all around. Doing them. Marla? Did you watch with D22? Mm, what's that? Um, I have had a marvelous idea. Okay. I will be fashioning my own bag of holding. Right. I was thinking something like this, and he, um, his chest opens up, and like, uh, I can't think of the film. What's the film with the really long filing cabinet that just goes on and on and on? Oh, Bruce Almighty. Almighty. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just a filing, a filing cabinet like that, bronze laid on the side, just <laughs> comes out of little, kind of little tiny boxes. I love it. Um, and the great thing is, is you guys have no choice but to give me all of the stuff in the bag of holding to keep, and it will minimize and stay in my chest for protection. Ah. I have drawn a diagram here. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha's, Sasha's life just flashed before her eyes. <laughs> we just, just like the fact I didn't really flinch. I'm oh, well quite done. proud of. Yeah, Thank well you. Done. I, yeah. The trust there. Um, uh huh. Cool. Would you like me to put your health potion in there as well? I don't have a health potion. Ah. You can put your health potion in there. Mm hmm. Um. Cool. Do you want this rock? Yes. Cool. I already have four. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, very nice. Um, so now I can carry and we will not be encumbered. Yeah, great. I don't really have things. You and I like the opposite. Mm. You like really like to have things. Mm. I don't. A man is nothing unless he has things. <sighs> Maybe that's why I don't care about things, because I'm not a man. Mm. Anyone can have nothing and not things. It's a gender neutral statement. Mm, okay. That is rather behind of me. Mm. Must be old programming. <laughs> yes. That sounds like something Alexi would say. <laughs> also, um, how often do you have to get the whoosh out? Is that every Isn't time? It just every, yeah, 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 that. Out again. Do you have to do that every time you put something in it? Yes. Shame. I think it'd be really funny if Alexi didn't know that that was there. What would you like to do? I think he's just very interested in how you work, and I feel like this would really... He'd write it in his little notebook. Ah, so perhaps I don't tell him how it works. Yes. Okay, just our little secret. Mm, yeah, no, no, good idea. Wonderful. Alternatively, tell him how it works, but explain it wrong. Mm. It's all great. Yeah. Good options. Good stuff. <laughs> what do you think is the meaning of life? Meaning of life? Mm. Um... You hear a clang of metal come from outside. <laughs> Um, both of you look out, 
and you see <laughs> a little bit of motion and commotion happening in the distance. You hear several sort of shouts going on and some thick dwarven accents God as well. It's, it's, a little. Uh, it's a little bit in the distance, but what would you like to do? I think I hear something. Yeah, I do too. Do not panic. I will fight them. Um, maybe we don't need to. <laughs> do we just do we be quiet, or how do we how do we deal with the situation? Okay, maybe. I am feeling slightly anxious. If we're quiet and they all kill each other, we can pick their corpses afterwards. Ah, sounds great. And I have more things to put in exactly. my exactly. Perfect. Let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, but if they attack the cave, we kill them. Either of you can make a perception check to try and see what's going on. Sure. Goddamn yellow creepers. That's a natural one there. So nine. It is a perception. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you also Did roll you a see one? that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Both rolled one. I apologize to Jeffers' ears. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm Staying. Have to... Yeah, yeah, please, please do. So both of you are so busy sort of like debating whether to go out or not. What you don't see <laughs> is this um, enormous. Is three dwarves in the similar bronze blue plate fighting. Um, Three seemingly different individuals, all looking rather haggard and rough. And it doesn't look like it's going well, but you don't know that. Uh, I'm going to give you a second to decide what you want to do. Should we go closer? Go try and get a better look, but sneak? Yes, yes, sneaking okay. is good. Um, Myla like is going to happening. cast maybe a super yeah. how many spells I have left. Bless you. Thank you. Um, I only have one mind. second level left. Mm-hmm. Fuck oh. it! Um, pass without a trace. Oh, cool, go for it. I'm going invisible. Oh, okay, then I yeah. wouldn't have done that if he just I goes invisible. I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. You, hold, you save that. Is it your second spell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Before cool. you can even speak, D22 presses a button on the top of it, and the top end of his hat <laughs> goes invisible. Okay. I've got this one. Brilliant. Uh, give me two okay. seconds. So you, 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 while well, deciding what you want to do, um, you suddenly turn it and D22 is just not there anymore. No, he said he's, he, he went, I've got this, and then... Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. yeah, so he showed just... me. I'm still here. Okay. Are you missed? I am invisible. Oh. Mm. Myla's gonna like reach out. See? Huh. Just as strong and sturdy, but not visible now. Yeah. All right, D22, we're not an initiative, but mm-hmm. what would you like to do? Uh, I'd get a bit of you, please. Sure. <laughs> uh, are you trying to be, you are being stealthy, but you are noisy, so you don't have advantage on the roll. So okay. I need you to make a straight stealth roll, please, and you do have the pass without trace from. No, you, no oh, I didn't Oh, you didn't, it. okay, yeah, then yeah. You, don't, you don't get that well, pass I'm pretty bonus. stealthy, so, unless this is a, oh dear. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable, two plus six, that's an eight. Okay. Uh, oh, for f- Good thing that even with a plus six, is an eight. A two is not oh, really yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. One, one, two. Thing that's two dicks on really. Mila, 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 you, even even over the noise, you 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 hear clop clop clop, and then uh, clank <laughs> a little bit as as you kick a rock and it rolls down the hill a little bit. The figure which you see with flaming orange hair turn around for a little bit, only be smacked in the back again. by by the dwarf they appear to be fighting. Um, they yell out in pain, and these other two are slowly being pushed in. You're still invisible. You've moved in a little bit. And you also hear, just, just from the side, but you're not sure where it comes from, well, you're a bit of a fucking idiot, aren't you? What would you like to do? <laughs> um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my... Um, uh, Compass. I'm going to use my compass, please. Okay. I want to see if there's something... Go on. You're, you're, asleep. You're, you're asleep, sorry. You're, asleep. Yeah, yeah, you're not helping him. Okay, cool. Are you using this to cast, detect good and evil? Remember, you're high. Go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. He's, just, he's panicking. His heart's... His, his pneumatic heart is pacing right now. Sure. And he's going to get his compass out and do a check. Cool. Uh, I just want to know what you're doing at this point. I am guarding the entrance of that cave. Okay, good as gold. So you, you pull it out, you cast, so you're casting the spell. Yeah? Oh, Detect it. Oh, no, I'm, I'm asking. This isn't costing you slot. I am, yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah. They're, they're, gonna, they're gonna see me doing this. Uh, no, they're not. So you pull it out at worst for a second. And you get a mix of um, different, what's the word I'm looking for, alignments ahead of you. But you detect undead immediately to your right. 
Okay. Can I attack to make it immediately to that, to that right where I see it? Can I use that as an attack? Make a perception check. Um, but if you do this, we're going to roll initiative for both of you. So this is your last round. Oh, Ten. Didn't you just roll a d12? No, oh, I did. Oh, you did. I did. I did. Nice. Fourteen. Fourteen. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm high. Uh, um, there you go. <laughs> I was gonna roll the dice, but then I can't. Yeah. <laughs> that should be the name of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> but then I got. <laughs> you you look and you see what just looks like a floppy wizard hat on the rock next to you, but you're getting a sense that's where it's coming from. It's a talking hat. Classic. Mm. Is a talking hat for? Is a talking hat worrying? All right, I need you both to roll initiative, please, at this point. We've waited too long. Yeah. Did he attack? I'm too, I'm confused. No, no, but he's, he's... Good. I'm know. too, I'm too confused. 15. 15. 15 for d22. Ooh, that's, that's, that's better than Myla's ever rolled, I swear, for initiative. Uh, 16. 16, okay. Cool, right. Here's how it's going to go now. So, d22, watching, still a little bit confused. First of all, you look, and you see what looks like now tall cat-like creature with broad shoulders and, and dark spots slash and attempt to cut down on the dwarf. The dwarf easily blocks it, knocks it back and returns with its own straight through, cutting it slightly on the stomach and it sort of catches itself and now it's like holding itself up on the side. Um, Milo, you're now next in initiative. What would you like to do? You, you don't see any of this, by the way. There's only D22 spotting this. Okay... Um, I, but I can see the people, no, right? You can, you can, you can see the commotion. Yeah, you can see the people. Yes. How far apart do they all look? Uh, they are probably like, the whole group <laughs> of them. Yeah. yeah. They're within a thirty-foot sphere. Thank um, you. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> um. Oh, there's so many options. Um, okay, for now, um, I'm going to hold an action. Okay. And if one of them attacks D22, mm-hmm. I'll cast Frostbite on them. Bless you. Okay. <coughs> Bless you kindly. Sure. Uh, what's the range on Frostbite? 60 feet. I'll allow that. Cool. Uh, D22, you're up. Um, so you're detecting undead from the spot here and yep. a mix of alignments from this from this group. Mm-hmm. Um, he's... Still he's, invisible. Yeah, he's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm antsy. I'm going to try and hit the thing on my right with my saucepan on my head. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to take my hat. I'm just going to swipe, swipe to where I think that. Uh, that sure, that make an attack from. roll with advantage, please. Uh, just advantage. do a d20 roll and add your strength modifier to that. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. STI is zero. I thought that would be stronger than that. Natural twenty. Natural. T- okay. Uh, roll two d four. Two d four damage for me, please. In fact, these two are pretty cool. Don't worry, I'll, I'll okay. tell them. <laughs> <gasps> yes. Five. Yes, yes. What are you going? Well, well, well. Oh, I'm five. Five seeking. damage. Oh, yeah. Okay. Five. So, Myla, you watch D twenty two suddenly like animate back into appearance again. So you you become visible. Mm-hmm. Um, you take the head off your head and you bat it away, and it goes it goes flying from out. What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> Knocks into the darkness somewhere. You hear it sort of clunk about. Have we um, got a new hat? Uh, not anymore. <laughs> Second thing, all of a sudden, this one turns to face you Uh-oh. and suddenly looks and signals to their compatriots, laying this threat that just hit something. Uh, cool. It is now. That missed. Both these other two dwarves go to make a hit on those two, but they managed to fight them off. Now very distracted by this large tin man. And you're not really being stealthy, I think. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, no. Uh, no, carry on. Ignore that. All, of, all focus is on you at this point. Um, you do, though, also see it coming from that corner. Sorry, there's a lot of 
<laughs> a lot of a lot of things I'm, I'm moving at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, suddenly, this this sort of like gross red electricity sort of sparks out and absolutely just nails one of the dwarves, Whoa. immediately killing it. Good throw from the corner. Aww. Thank yeah, you. Very good throw. Um, uh, and then this other very large fellow in like fine plate armor makes a strike on that as well and absolutely whips it, their sword stuck in the ground with a natural one. Um, Remember, Matt, you can use your inspiration on that. I can, but I'm not going to, so that's okay. Uh, this other one, her on? eyes, and you see it's a she. Um, you recognize now as a fire genasi with like jet black skin, slightly cracked with like ember underneath. She raises her crossbow to the right and just executes styles the dwarf. Um, next to her, killing immediately, still locking eyes with you, and just starts to slowly walk towards you. Um, off the back of that. Uh, with that, with the back at the top, the um, large cat creature comes and tries to circle this last dwarf, which is now realizing he's not cut out very well. Uh, makes a hit, doesn't quite finish it off yet. Uh, Myla, you're back up. Uh, all right. Um... Myla, there's not really much I can sort of do to like sneak. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. It's gonna be so good. Um, I'm gonna do exactly the same as before. Mm-hmm. Um, Just hold action. Hold action, frostbite on. Sure. Sure thing. D22. D22. Cool. Being attacked. Guy, you're up. So, the person that's opposite me, are they looking Are they looking threatening at me? Uh, they are holding the crossbow and pointing it in your direction. Yes. In which case, I am going to um, shout out, um, I am stealthy and healthy! <laughs> and, <laughs> yes. and I am going to cast Thunder Wave in their direction, all three of them's direction. Ooh. Okay. Um... Is Thunder Wave a range? It's a yep. cube, 15 feet. Okay, sure. Uh, what's the save I need to make on that, please? Uh, 15, it says con 15. Con 15. Uh, right, Fire Genasi well. passes. The Tabaxi fails. Tabaxi. And this big guy here in the armor also fails. Uh, so can you roll damage for me, please? So, this so they get not prone. <laughs> yes. No, sorry, they, get, they just get pushed. Oh, and the dwarf as well, sorry. Dwarf also fails. Um, yeah, no, they just get they get pushed 10 feet away. Cool. Ooh, 10, 11, plus the one, 12. Okay. Right. So, it impacts here. The dwarf immediately shocks and drops to the ground as the tabaxi finishes it off. The blast also knocks the tabaxi to the grounds, and they lay there still not getting up. <clears throat> this big guy also gets knocked back 10 feet, landing on his back, but slow starts to get back up again. She takes the impact, um, but still stands really on her feet, you staring you down. Oh, cool. lucky roll. Mm. Sorry, sweetheart. What the fuck? I am healthy and stealthy. You are threatening me. Uh, she shoots you at you with a crossbow bolt. She... Uh, yep. <laughs> she whiffs immediately as your frostbite goes off. Yep. Yep. Uh, I need to make a what save, please? Uh, the con save. 12. Con save. Twelve. Uh, she fails. Ooh. No, so... uh, twelve. No, she just made it. Sorry, she just made it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, shame because it doesn't get disadvantage, but that's it. I think. Uh, she rolled a three in the attack anyway, so I think still the shock of suddenly being like caught, frozen, and she looks over, she's a snow elf, suddenly hit her with a spell, and the bolt just flies off into the night, completely harmless. Hi! Um, don't attack us? Uh, okay. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> sure. Sure. I'm going to say with disadvantage. No. I would be amazed if you did. <laughs> Both tens. Plus anything? Nope. Minus anything? Nope. <laughs> that's, that's always always good. D twenty two. What are you doing? Uh, we're out of initiative order now. Um, Friends. I'm doing a melee. Good. <laughs> oh, good. So proud of you. 
Myla's gonna like walk towards them with like her hands up. I mean, she's got stuff in one. As, like, as you as you walk up slowly before you can hear anything, you hear a loud call, Tyre! Um, and you see the large figure gets up and Tyre turns and Sully sprints across to the tabaxi, lying on the ground. And starts like, gets on her knees and starts looking at her um, ally. Is, is your friend okay? I can heal them. Do you want help? Sweet out now or never. Okay, Myla casts uh, healing word and just goes like, uh, you there, get up. Cool. Uh, yeah, sure. Roll, roll healing. Um, so one d four plus five. <laughs> yeah, six hit points. So cool. On the on the Dabaxi. Mm-hmm. Cool. Dabaxi slowly breathes very shallow and just sits up on the ground. And just glares at you, D22. If you like, you can buy a health potion from me. It's recently made. Yeah, you called it. Yeah, I literally... <laughs> you called it. Um, Myla will um, keep sort of walking towards and be like, okay, so friends? Let's, 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 let's pump the brakes. Acquaintances? Why, why'd you attack us? I attacked you we, because you were attacking my friend. Well, no, we were attacking the dwarves. Are you with the dwarves? No. It's not good business, is it? Attack us, ask for money. Oh, yeah, he, he's sort of programmed to do that. It's just he's a like fair a trade. Selling, it's he's just like a, a fair business, trade. He's a business bot. Just a okay, fair well, trade. if you could keep your robot under control. He's I not my could, robot. Well, then maybe talk to his owner and sort it out, please. Thank you. I'm trying to tend to my friend. And I she, will she pulls out some when she and... wakes up. But, you know, your friend is okay now. I got I got the up. Hi. Nice to meet you. Do you think she'll buy the potion? Later. She, she calls out. Probably not. Probably not. Damn it. <laughs> um, you, you look, her crossbow was glowing bright white hot now, now sort of fades to like a nice dark wood. Um, the other figure, the large figure, slowly walks towards you, Myla, um, just just with her hand outstretched. And Thank you. That's okay. Before immediately turning and walking back to check oh. on the friends. Lovely to meet you. And too. Like, Has anyone seen Russ? Uh, who's Russ? And you hear another voice. Down here! Uh oh. Um, the Jarcy turns around and picks up what appears to be a human skull wearing a wizard's hat. <laughs> nice backswing, mate. It fucking hurt. Ow. Ugh. Told you we should have gone through the giant path. <sighs> what is that? You party member. You. What are you? Hi. Hi. Russ? Russ, yeah. And it's, it's literally just a skull with two tiny little flecks of, of light in the middle. Your name is Rust. Russ. 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 And you are Tyre? She nods and then looks away, still tending to the tabaxi. Um, Myla's going to be like, I'm Myla. The, um, the Goliath. Um, Arnith. Arnith? Yep, and um, this is Beetle. Beetle? Beetle with a D. Beetle. <laughs> B-E-E-D-L-E. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Jeremy Beadle. Beadle and Grimm. <laughs> no, I was thinking from... No. no. <laughs> um, um, Be- Beadle doesn't say anything, just just glares, <clears throat> daggers at D22. Shocker. Um, this is D22. Hello. Um, what are, you, what are you all doing with here? I mean, we've been hiding from the dwarves. Uh, well, uh, probably they thought maybe you were us, I don't know. We've just been on an expedition for the last couple of months. I don't particularly want to talk to someone who just, well... D22 just goes, just goes uh, walks out of his arms to try and hug them. Uh, just, 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 so, just, 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 just immediately raising. Just, just back, back up. Back up, back up. He's learning. Sorry, again. You just give us, give us some space for a second, thanks. Yeah, I definitely won't try and hug you. Guaranteed. Appreciate that. It's all right. Um, so why are you on an expedition around here? Just, we're just going to take a minute. Okay, That's sure. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. There's a cave back here. If you've, you... you've got you've got some shelter. Yeah. You're not going to kill us in our sleep. You're not going to kill us in our sleep. I wasn't planning on it. How about we agree to do no killing in any sleeping or indeed waking, and then you can come to the shelter. Make a persuasion check. Fifteen. Is it far? It's literally right here. Oh, great. Cool. They both hoist up the tabaxi around the shoulders and start walking it up with Arnith carrying the skull underneath the arm. Slowly so bring you back inside. 
No one's really... It's, it's still very tense. Um, can point. you put us <coughs> over by the sleeping people? Yeah, yeah. Of we course, would. Of I would. Course. Myla would very much be like. D twenty two. As, as, as we're walking where, back, where are you at this point? As we're walking back, and hear D twenty two just inappropriately say, "We have drugs too." It hasn't really been heard, but you just hear it, hear, hear it echoing through the cave as they go. What kind? What kind? I've got some ether. Either. Yes. It's called Blue Root. Blue Root. Blue root. Mm-hmm. It's called Blue Root. Oh. And it rocks. A bit fancy for my taste. Ah. It might explain why I, might, I t- attacked you unfairly earlier. Yep. And she just carries on straight ahead, <laughs> not looking at you. Um. Um. So. How are your travels? Do you, do you have a habit of attacking people and just making conversation after the fact? In fairness, I was the one that attacked you first. I all I saw was you walking towards my friend, and and I I was sort of on guard, so I reacted and just wanted to keep you back. I think you'd do the same for your friends, right? I mean, if we were in a better shape, you probably wouldn't be alive right now. And and looking, all all three of them. Oh, I'm sure. Are very are very cut up, very beat. Like they they look very weathered and very sore at this point. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Um, we're not that. We're not that strong. Um, no, speak for yourself. <laughs> right. Um, I think we're just gonna poke over here for now and just look at wounds. All right. Thank, thank you for the assistance. That's all right. Uh, get a better aim next time. Yep. Cool. And they just all sort of turn um, and just come around this other side of the cave. Myla's going to turn around and like. <laughs> Kneel down and like poke Alexi. <laughs> I think I might have overstepped the mark there. Uh, Possibly. Yeah. Um. Yes. Hello. Hi. No. Oh, is it my turn? Good morning. No. Um. Oh, oh, all right. This is highly unorthodox. We have guests. <sighs> Alexi just draws the short sword. <laughs> Well, no, so, did no, you hear no, a sword? No, you're bit? Fine. No, I'm kidding. No. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> They're fine. It's okay. Um. Uh, we have. Made a, a sort of we, we've made peace. It's all fine. We made some new friends. We've made new possible friends. Mm. Right. Um, so we, just to, to clarify that I've perfectly understood. We're um, we're halfway up a fucking mountain. Yep. Yes. Uh, and and we've we've made some new friends. Yep. Uh, how did we make? They so were killing some dwarves. Killing right. some dwarves. Okay. And uh, I went out to say hello, and they saw me say hello, and they said, "How are you?" And I said, "Good." And they said, "Great." Would you like to be friends? And they said, "Yes." We came back. Right. Um, if that's true, mm-hmm. um, which I I, I I don't believe it is, um, why is Myla doing the look? There is no look. It's the smile that's a little bit too wide. <laughs> Run. It happened a, a, a little bit. My, Myla may have attacked them uh, outside. Myla, uh, did you briefly. attack them outside? Just a little bit. Yes, I yes, did. That's true. And right. Attacked, attacked them outside. Why? Be- um, because. Because there was a misunderstanding. Them with with the, the, there was a misunderstanding in my head. <laughs> <laughs> what was the misunderstanding? Uh, my spontaneously, my arm combusted, and I accidentally hit an object near a rock. Right. And, um, uh, well, it was one of their party. One, one of their party. Right. And they attacked, they attacked us, so Myla defended me. You'd really like Russ. I tried to explain, and so a health a potion. <laughs> they wouldn't buy the health potion, <laughs> and now they're back here. You're talking a lot, and it's giving me a they headache. Had some drugs. Um, <laughs> right, okay, so. I to told them we had drugs too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I healed one of them. How long, have you, how long have you rested? I don't know. About 20 minutes. 20 minutes. <laughs> So to clarify, then um, you 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 went to investigate a fight. Correct. Um, you heard, I presume, this skull. Yes. Um, and then you hit it. Yes. Uh, and then they didn't like that. No. So surprising. So then Myla was defending you defending by hitting me. them. Correct. And um, now they are in the adjacent cave. They are sleeping near us. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty much how it happened. And you all turn and see Arnold standing there without a sword, holding. Russ, just. Oh, this is Arnith and Russ. Russ, hey, how's it going? Man. Hello. Oh, hi. Hello. You're fascinating. I knew Thanks. you'd like him. Um. Yeah, it's a bit tense. Um. Don't talk to Ty. I think she wants to. Or Beetle. We're not super. Uh, why? What happened to Ty? Ah, uh, well. Uh, this guy hit me, and then did right. some weird loopy spell. Hit all of us. Nearly killed a mate. Oh. 
but I got her up. Ah, yes. And for that, we, we thank you. And so, no no hard blood. We just we just like to rest. You're um, welcome. Yes, yes, of course. Do you, do you know why the dwarves are hunting these areas? We've had nothing but trouble coming down the mountain the last couple of weeks. Um, ah. We think they're working with someone called Sarek Cave Fury. Never. Never heard of him. Smuggling Rylinthium. Making weird weapons out of them. We've, we've been up on the other side of the peaks for a couple of months now. What's going on on the other side of the peaks? Uh, we were dealing with some elementals, some snow golems had causing avalanches. We were hired by Green Basin to take care of some business. We've been out of the loop for a long time. Oh, have you I got a feel name? like I'm saying too much. I'm As in sorry. the group? If, is your group like a registered group? Yes, uh, we are. Electrum Avenue. Electrum Avenue? Yes. Are you going to rock oh, down no. too? <laughs> Don't. Um, <laughs> Don't. It's worth it for this. <laughs> <laughs> Great name. It's a great name. Um, anyway, we're talking about setting up some sort of business, mercenary business type thing. Um, it's it's uh, re- respectfully, it's more for professionals. Yeah, well, that's why we see we want to become professionals. Get get better aim. Mm-hmm. Um, I just want to say, there's no bad blood, nothing. We're going to rest and sleep. Yeah, and yeah, that that that's mm-hmm. quite, quite 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 all right. Mm-hmm. Ignore her. What's? <laughs> she took the blue route. Two snow elves. Damn. Yes. <laughs> Why are two snow elves on this mountain? Well... It's not safe for snow elves. Why? I... Oh, I'm, 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 I'm who, not from here. Uh, who are you here with? I mean, you don't <laughs> seem... She doesn't seem... They're with me. But, uh, and me. We're we, sort of all just together. We had to take a long route around. We sound something of a gravesite. What kind of gravesite? Uh, a dozen or so snow elves nailed to some ethel bark elven tree planks. Why? That doesn't sound safe. For no, snow we elves. we gave it a wide berth. It seemed cursed. There were large, sort of gaseous black shadows around there as well. You're not here for that. No. It's the it's damn shame. Is she okay? She She is reliving a lot of happy memories. Mm. Is having a lovely time. Blue root? Yeah. Blue root. Fair enough. Mm. Um Apologies, I've pried too much. Oh no, 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 no. We're here out of pure coincidence, to be honest. Um didn't know the significance of this mountain or that there are no elves. Well it's and you hear from the back. Honest, oh, no, stop making friends. Tire. Calls him back. Yeah. Bye. Sleep well. Um, uh, Good night. Uh, uh, night, Russ. Uh, uh, armor. Sorry. Right. Yes. Um, I, I, I need to sleep for a bit. But um, when I wake up, would would I would I be able to speak to you and your your party a, a little more? I think a good night's rest would do us all some good. Wonderful. Uh, thank you. Very well. Um, and he walks off and he places Russ facing forward. Watching the back of the cave. And what was over the time? Myla's looking at Alexi extremely guiltily. I think you should both head to bed. We made. F- I think you should both head to bed. We shall discuss it. Discuss it in the mon- morning. <laughs> <laughs> Can't speak. It sounds like you need to sleep. Yes, I do. But Would you like our friends? I. Would like you both to go to bed now, please. Sure. Go on. I'm sorry. I think we're being sent to bed. Yeah. How long have we taken Blue Root for now? Uh, I think at this point it's probably only been about th- the potions, I'd say maybe three hours. You've still got a good six left. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Alexi is like in full disappointed father mode. So if at, if at any point D22 comes on to say anything like, I said to bed. Myla is going to uh, like go sort of like shuffle down to go to bed and then like send Squ- uh, Cyril over to Alexi. Hello. Well... It- I, I understand you. Well, it's 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 just, it's a little irresponsible. We're not understanding each other, are we? 
No, that, but I don't know where the potion is. I could drink it. Yes? All right. <laughs> Alexi. <laughs> he, uh, Cyril comes and squeaks. You have no fucking clue what yeah. he said. <laughs> Alexi, let's get the potion. <laughs> is Miles still awake? Yeah. Let's <laughs> get, get, get all the potion. You know which potion is. Uh, Wait, which which potion is this? The uh, potion of speak with animals. Yeah. Oh, God, yes. I forgot yeah, I no, that. she's... Okay, she's like... Ah. Yeah, fine. <laughs> Bit of blue root. What, what voice did I do for Cyril? You're like, hey, bud. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> right. Sorry, what? Um, I mean, it's not her fault. D22 hit first. Milo was just covering. And it was a bit tense. I mean, come on. Like, the shit you guys have dealt with the last couple of weeks, it's, it's mad. Uh, you, what? Uh, as ever, you make an excellent point. Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm really smart. Um, you, you, you are. Um, <laughs> yes, I, I, I know it's not. It's not. I'm not really angry. I'm just. I, I, I don't know. You're just disappointed. No, I'm, I'm worried. Like, what, what if something had happened? And well, I was nothing I, did I, I, happen. But I was so, just here asleep, and no, no one thought. And to... they took care of it. They did. No <laughs> one's, no one's dead. Right, right. Yes, but we're friends. We're supposed to help each other out. And they did. They helped you out while you slept. That's helping each other out. All right. Well, Alex only, only listens to a squirrel. <laughs> That's the only person. While we're talking, um, the, sure. the game we play where I hide a crumb on me somewhere and you have to find it. Yeah, it's great. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, it's good. Just want to check. Any nuts? Like, like acorns or something? I, I can find some. Yeah, just, just you know, get, get a bit more adventurous with it, you know? Maybe uh -huh. work for it. All right. Yeah. Uh, harder? Like, like you got, you're skinny, you're like in a rib or something, you know? Like, like tuck it, like... Oh, okay, if I put it in a rib, that'll be in me. I'm not in you... You're like, you know what? You know, it's a good thing. Let's not ruin a good thing. It's fine. Oh, all right. Do you mean funny jokes? I don't know. You can't put me in the spot like that. Come on. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just, I, I very rarely get to talk to a squirrel. No, Milo's going to call over. Is it everything you hoped for? I, well, I'm, 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 I'm quite happy with it. I've, I've, I've forgiven you, by the way. Thank it's not a great you. conversation. This will do. So... Be nice, Cyril. For for the sake of brevity, <laughs> Alexi's just going to sit there and chat to Cyril for you, a while. You sit and chat with Squirrel the keeping entire watch. time. You you guys you guys keep keep watch quite happily with with Russ staring dead ahead into the the open void. Um, if this is a short rest, I'm going to do my little nature's recovery thing. Uh, are you taking a short rest or a long rest? Uh, we can take a long rest. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, long rest would we'll be a long yeah. rest. Yeah, wonderful. Sure. That doesn't sound not. <laughs> yeah, that's not. It, it's, it's, it's a long rest. I promise. It's the wrong. At one point, yes, whispering, please. Alexi will ask Cyril if it offends him if Alexi only uh, drinks blood from animals from now on. As long as it's not from squirrels. Oh, no, yeah, and, 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 and just you know, give me a heads up so I can look away. It's fine. Sure. Gonna <laughs> find out. Know where your lines are. So, as you all take your turns resting while keeping watch. We'll come back to the still very blissfully unaware Mayway. Mm. Mayway, you've been living it up for the it's last. Been it's been great. You've friends, family, achievements. It's it's been really a happy time and a nice a, a nice escape almost from mm. completely ignorant of the real world happening around you. And as you start to notice, the sun seems to slowly set. The sky remains a vibrant blue colour. You can see just at the edge things just sizzling a little bit. You hear your mother calling you for Aww. dinner. You suddenly find yourself back at home sitting and around a large table with, with both your mum and your dad, mm. eating well, drinking well, just catching up on the day and everything's good. You've, you've finished at the library, you're ready to go out and about. But every now and then you just spot your echo just on the peripheral of your vision, just, just walking through. And she's popped up from time to time, but it's it's gotten it's gotten annoying, it's gotten frustrating, and you're not really sure why. You've tried to dismiss it. It's the one thing that doesn't seem to fit in in, in any of this, but keeps popping up, sitting at a at a stall, dancing around, reading a book in the corner. So you decide to follow it, and it leads you through the house. Your parents call after you, but you chase. So running around through the hallways, up and down the stairs, through the back gardens through the place that your family used to work. 
so suddenly you find yourself at the long, long hallway where your room used to be, and she's sprinting away, sprinting away, and you're chasing her, and you're chasing her, you're chasing her, and behind you, the room is starting to evaporate away with that blue powder, and there's only darkness behind as you sort of chase. She runs into the hallway where it's just a big blank wall with nothing behind it. She stops, she turns, she winks at you, walks through the wall, and you run and you run, you catch up, your hand slaps against the woods, and you're trapped, and there's nowhere for you to go. As the room slowly evaporates away, and disappears into nothing. And that's when you wake up. And now we're going to take a break. Lovely. Snow elves Have me there. Nailed that to lovely. wood. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I can't wait to hear about that. Am I no longer exhausted? You still have a levels. you have a level of exhaustion left. <laughs> the whole point of drugs is meant to be to, <laughs> to lose both. I of them. mean, it's much better to have only one than than the two. Are we you've all got, you've got your rest. rest. Yep, yeah, you'll yeah, we'll come back. Come Lovely. Back. Anyway, sorry, we're just chatting away. So thanks very much. Uh, we'll see you in a minute. Stay tuned, Frosty. I don't know. Let's, let's, let's do what you want. Stay Live frosty. Stay frosty. <laughs> sure. Greetings, peasants. Alexi Karstav here. I uh, hope you're enjoying watching me in the show. I'm doing a fantastic time this week. No, uh, we wanted to thank the people who all make the show so great. Oh, God's sake. Uh, yes, 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 there is uh, there is Erin Gray, who did a truly beautiful rendition of My Lovely Face. And everyone else. Uh, and and them. Uh, there is Michael G Gelf... Gelf I do this every time. <laughs> Gelfie. Gelfie, yes, he does the uh, the very heroic music that you see me being very handsome in. Finally, uh, who else do we have? We've got... There's Sticky Fingers, who does all the amazing maps that we get to fight on, or sometimes not fight on and immediately leave. Um, there's Loki Fellows, who also does amazing episode art, and she does all the show animations, which is like super, super talented. We also have that uh, the, the social media sorceress, uh, Tanya Garamani. What is it with people and titles, honestly? It's so gauche. And uh, we also have Jeffa and Nate doing their uh, technical wizardry behind the scenes. There are links for absolutely everyone in the description, so you should go check them out because they're all awesome and really so much more talented than we are. Uh, I mean, than you. And welcome back. Uh, before the break, our party rested for maybe about five minutes uh, <laughs> before being rudely interrupted by a scuffle happening outside the cave where things were taking place. Um, in an attempt to interfere or potentially save them, D22 ended up attacking both sides of the conflict, but thanks to some quick words and decent rolls by Myla, everything seems to have calmed down a little bit. And now we come to the end of the long rest where all of you have gained a successful long rest, and Maywei waking up from her drug-infused slumber mm. is the first to come to just a couple of hours before everyone else. Mm. Maywei, you awake to the reverberating snores of D22 and look to see a female fire genasi at the mouth of the cave roasting what appears to be a, a small rabbit on an open flame. Morning, sweetheart. Hi. Who are you? I like slowly get to my feet and just put my hand on my weapon. Uh, Who are you? Taya, you're fine. Your friends helped and hindered us last night. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, and she points, and you can see them all safely, fast asleep. Ah, yeah. well, thanks for helping my friends. I'm Maywei. Nice to meet you. Taya. Yeah. Hi, Taya. What are you doing up here? Oh, coming back from a little uh, mission. Oh. Finished a bit of some good work and slaps a small pouch in her pocket. Good pay, good times, but finally 
heading home. Nice. Just checking. You're not going to attack my friends, are you? No. I mean, uh, my friends are all right, so I don't see why. Good. It's false a habit from them. Just checking it's not a widespread issue. Oh, no. Did some who attacked you? Uh, let's just say your robot friend isn't as uh, um, accurate, maybe. Okay. Were you, were you trying to steal from him? No. Oh, no, no, some 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 dwarves, some dwarves there. ambushed us. Uh, oh. We had to take the long pass back. Cave Fury's men? Uh, we we don't know. They've mentioned that name before. Oh, all right. Not so. No mission to do with him then. No, no. We've been out for a couple of months on the other side of the peaks for a while now, dealing some ice elemental, some weird magic infused, brought the snow to life. Oh. Not really sure what, but all on the hands, all in a day's work. You dealt with it though. It's done. Yeah, it's done. It's done. Well, that's what we got paid to do. What, you'd kill them all, or you found out who was raising them? Oh, uh, we dealt with the snow golems. That's what we were paid to do. Oh, okay. And we didn't see any when we left. Two months of fighting, I think. That's that's more than enough to earn a, a few silver, don't you say? <laughs> Absolutely. Are you hungry? Yeah. I'm good. She pulls off a bit of the rabbit and chucks you her leg. Oh, this is Russ, rabbit. by the way. Hi! And this, like, skull just hops to, like, turn and, and look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. Ah, is this a magic trick? Nope, nope, it's just me. How? Well, used to be more of me. Um, cursed, magic, bad deal. I kind of lost count. It's been a while. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm great. I look great. Great smell. <laughs> you want some rabbit? Sure. Like, from the leg that I'm holding. Immediately, like, gets in his jaw and just... No, I'm holding it. Oh. I'm like offering it. <laughs> like, I like clamps a couple of times trying to bite it. <laughs> you can't bite? No, no tongue to swallow. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Don't really go for food. Fair enough. <laughs> That's good. Right. Appreciate it. You what was your name, sorry? I'm Mayway, honey. Hi. Great. He just turns and hops back and keeps facing forward. Are there more people here? It was uh, Arneth and Beetle, but they're a bit beat up, so. More? Oh my god, we got new friends! Um, they're okay. a little slow to Oh my warm. goodness, they made friends and I was asleep! I'm so proud of them! Who, who made friends? Was it Alexi? No. Was it Myla? <laughs> kind of none of them, really. Um, well, you're we didn't kill them because we're so beat up. Oh, Myla hush. is probably the nicest. She is lovely. Tyre, like, she? nods yeah. a little bit along. Yeah. Yeah, she she is a dear. Well, um Where are you headed? Up the mountain. Oh. You've just gone down. We're headed down. Yeah, we're headed up. What you what you doing? Um trying to track down a fugitive. Interesting. Mm. Paid work. No. No. Personal vendetta. Oh wow. Didn't um, know people still did those. Been sent out by the Val, gotta finish my mission. The skeleton, the skull, rather, is already blank expression. Uh, remains just as blank, and there's there's an uncomfortable silence for a moment. All right. Did, um, Tyre speaks up. Did, did you say, did you say Val, sweetheart? Yeah, um, I mean, I'm a, I'm a Silverell. Where do you think I'm are from? You, are you library? I am. So. Well, uh, yeah, a bit disgraced at the moment. I lost a lot of my stuff. <sighs> Happens to the best of us. <laughs> Thanks. Um. Coming back down, we stumbled upon kind of a crude gravesite. Oh, no. Erected quickly. Um, a lot of your folk. The Filvaral or the library? Well, Filvaral. We didn't get close enough to look, but. Wait, a gravesite of my folk? Yes. Here? here? Yes. How, 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 how's Probably. your mental state, sweetheart? Sound as ever. Deception check. <laughs> Versus an insight. Uh, huh. Oh fuck! What 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 are we dealing What are we dealing with? Twenty one. Twenty. Oh okay. All right. Well done. Um, insights. And she's not even that good a line. Nineteen. All right. You you beat that. Okay. Um. Also, Mayway believes her her mental state is sound. So you just have six hours of happy memories. Exactly. I've I've been away for a couple of months. On the way back, 
that wasn't there on the way up. But on the way back, someone's erected it. Someone has nailed your people to elven trees. And at the base of each one there looked like dark, shadowy ghosts just seem to be standing guard. We gave it a wide berth, but definitely feel viral and definitely vile trees. You're not here for that. Uh, sounds like a personal vendetta to me, but there's about a dozen, maybe more. No, no, I didn't know about that. Shadowy ghost like this? And I turn and my echo appears behind me. Oh God, I'm so sorry. And she vanishes. I see. That's, you're not here for that. No, I'm not. Maybe stop along the way. It's out of the way. I think. Depends which way you go. What What are you here for? You said vendetta. Where? Which way? Sarah K. Fury. I don't. We're going to Milford. You're going to Milford. Yes. You've, you've just come from Milford. You're oh, going. I don't to, know. Uh, fr- fr- going fr- going you're going to, going to Frostrum. Was the mine? Oh, uh, there yeah. you go. That one. <laughs> We're going to Frostrum. Right. I see. Um. I'm pretty sure the man who did that is there. I feel like I should talk with the rest of your friends when they awake. Sure, let them sleep, though. Yeah, then. of course, of course. Um, please eat and um, let your friends know there are no hard feelings. We were not in a great state yesterday and maybe teach the robot how to throw spells properly. Yes. Get, get, get some rest, and I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, it, Thank you. It's not often you see one, let alone two, and something's clearly been happening. Roughly how many? Uh, a dozen, maybe more. Ross chimes in. Fourteen! Counted him myself. Sorry. I. But it's new. A well, new within within a couple of months. Why would fourteen people of the Vale go up a mountain in the last two months? Huh. And as as you as you ponder that, the rest of you slowly start to stir and wake up, and you find a. a, a well, a very forlorn-looking Mayway. Mayway, I Mala. talk to people. I think you were in my dreams. What? Yeah. Okay. But I made acquaintances. Give it time. Cave sharers. Flatmates. Flatmates. Oh, Ty, I she's made just flatmates. Lo- she's just the loveliest, isn't she? Ty? She winks. She winks. Yeah. I healed their friend, and. Yeah. Oh. You'd be so proud. I am so proud. That's wonderful. Um, what happened, though? There was a fire. D22 needs to learn how to shoot spells. Oh, so... I feel awful this yeah. morning. Yeah, D22 took some blue root as well. You have a oh. minus one penalty to all intelligence checks for the next nine hours. <laughs> yes. Fair, um, fair. Um, well... Really? Why do you, I feel fine? He, he shakes feel... his head and a little bit of blue root dust falls out. I am I... suddenly aware of my own existence. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I guess it's good to know that's what would have happened. Oh, wait. And I pat myself looking for the blue root. You don't find it. Alexi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Good morning, honey. You made friends. Oh, I, 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 I've barely spoken to him. They are lovely, and I hold up my rabbit with one bite taken out of it. Rabbit? Um, you, you, you know I don't eat meat. It's right. really good. My bad. He's a vegetarian. I forgot about uh, that. You're, you're a genasi. Yes. Oh, I, I, uh, forgive me. I, I, I've read so much about your people that I've, ne- I've never actually had an opportunity to meet Yeah, he's one. always like this. Just, mm, sorry. Is this how you normally introduce yourself? No. Yeah. No, yeah. It is. You did with me. Is it? Well, yes. yes, but in all fairness, like, um. Can I have my blue root back? No. Why not? Because you took it without telling anyone. Why would I have to ask permission to do something like that? Well, when when one is going to be knocked out for several hours, it's probably good to um. It was you know, in, in for, it was it was early evening at best. Oh, I was really tired. No, I'm, I'm sorry. They're also That's always like this. You, you you look back up and she's standing over you a little bit, and like there's heat and vapor like coming off. Hello. Pretty hot. Yeah, you're cute. Uh. <laughs> just, Doesn't, you don't look like you suit the outside, though. You just keep the pretty mouth shut and let me just look and we'll be fine. 
goes back. He to is gone bright red. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. I like it too. Uh, uh, Vegetarian? Um, mm-hmm. She vanishes in a puff of smoke. All right, she is. And Russ as well, also. Hi. Pack a laps, pack a laps, Russ. You have a great energy. Alexi, remember, when you say hello to Russ, do not state that he is a skull in a hat. Go on, I believe in you. you I'm so it. much more. Yeah. Hello, Russ. Hi. Good to meet you. What is your favourite <laughs> colour? Um, pink. Was that enough small talk? May I ask questions now? Uh, sure. Uh, excellent. You get three. Uh, right. After that, it costs money. You would really guess one with him. Um, <laughs> what is the nature of your... We, he hit it off with me really well. Ha, 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 ha. That is objectively very funny, Thank considering you. what Thank I know. You. All right. Um, what is the nature of, precisely of your, um, your current malady? <laughs> Not a fucking clue. Um, had a few lives. Used to have a body. Not anymore. Just, uh, got a thing in my head. Flactory, I don't know, old soul. Still to stop guessing after a while, just go with it. I'm going to save the other two for a while. Sounds good. Great. What are you do with this party? What's your specialty? Um, we go remote. No, your specialty, Me? Russ. Oh, I'm the magic guy. Oh, you're the magic guy. I'm the magic guy. guy. I oh can do this God. shit. And That's he just so like, cool. his mouth opens up and just a bolt of red lightning <laughs> shoots out the cave. That's really cool. Oh, damn. Yes. And oh, just there's a little, damn, bit, Russ. little bit of smoke rising from, from a little bit like charcoal around the, around the mouth. Deeply impressive. Uh, well, um, D twenty two. Uh, he, he can uh, create things. Um, not not right now. He's he's having a bit of a moment. This arrow just goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> uh, uh, this, this is this is Myla. Uh, she she is um, Hi. wonderful with all, all, all things sort of um, n- nature oriented. Great. Uh, she can also transform into animals. None of you are clerics, right? Uh, no, no, I had a bad experience with those. Uh, so. Me too. Yeah, we're not. They fans. don't don't like the whole. Yeah. You know what? I'm dead. They, they're not. They're not fans of me. Not for any particular reason. Just, <laughs> you know. His eyes glow a bright red for a second, and the sockets just go. I'm not picking up undead. Nope. Okay. Uh, no, no, he's he's not undead. He's just, I think, because re- religious he just, differences. Yeah. Right. So why are you here? Uh, well, 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 we we were um, on our way. Um, uh, something of a, a b- vendetta, I believe, would be the yeah. word. Yeah, yeah. There's um, some, some been developments on that. Oh. Yeah. There's a bunch of Val, Silver Rail Val. Yeah, they um, told us last night. Yeah, that is that is a development, indeed. And it seems like they're from the library. Oh. I need both of you to make wisdom saving throws, please. Pardon, who? Both of you. Me and Lexi. Both of you. Oh, fucking what? 16. Cool. <laughs> a minute, a minute, a minute. Yep, though that is what that is for. Cool, thank you. Carry on, as you will. Um, I... <laughs> I mean, it's not fine, but we have a goal. I, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, I'm really sorry. I mean, maybe I didn't know them. No, that doesn't make it better, never mind. We'll, 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 we'll find them and, and we'll, we'll, we'll give them a, a, a proper Burial. What if Sarek gets away while we do that? Then we'll come back for them. I guess. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Well Bless you, Russ. <laughs> Thanks. No nose, I still sneeze. It's amazing. <laughs> um. So, um, Russ, 
Uh, how long have you all been doing this? Um, three and a half years. Okay, okay. A minute. Yeah, yeah. How did you all kind of get together? Oh, that's a long story. Um, mm-hmm. Tyre found me when I still had a body. Yeah. Saved me. Do you want to save this bit? Yeah. Um, I have a deal with Arneth. Yeah. Where well, we both have a big secret. Because he doesn't like me because I'm undead. I don't like him because he's holy. So we just kind of cancel each other out. So he is a cleric. He's a paladin. Okay. Holy man. Dawn Father, I think. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then Beetle just kind of follows us around. He doesn't say much. I don't think he likes me. Okay. Cool. Um, but yeah, we do jobs mostly from Green Basin. It's a nice place. That's where oh. we're headed back now. I don't think Beetle oh, likes me either, even though I healed him. Beetle doesn't like anyone. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. And oh, wait, from Green Basin, is that where those adventuring parties were? The ones that were registered, right? Uh, you register in Green Basin? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I remember that. We met um, you your greatest fantasy. Oh my god, I love them. They're amazing. Cool. Did you get their autograph? No. Ah, oh, man. Uh, no, 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 they uh, they, 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 they showed were. up and they took half of our... Uh, oh, fuck stuff. off. No, they they're, wouldn't do that. Uh, d- no, no. They're legends. They. They're like the best. They're, they are Guys, aren't they the best? And then you hear the sleepy on of like, yeah, they're um, they're, they're pretty great. They're total mankers. Yeah, they're, they're bad. Never meet your heroes. Oh, you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. They and you were, and you a guy. You used to, yeah, no. They took the credit for what we did, they and then did. took half of the loot yes, and we, left. We, 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 right? Yeah, I remember. I mean, that. no offense, but like little guys like you, why would you deal? They're like big wigs. Well, they had a contract to kill Clubgut, and we and did it. Yeah, they got there you, when we finished. Away from yeah, them. sorry, it's it's fine. We 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 did the job, and and they sort of like uh, showed up. It, it, took uh, the credit. Yes. And the money. And half the stuff. Make a persuasion check. Uh, me? Yeah, because you're the one finishing the sentence. But I am helping. Sure. I'm also Adva- helping. Ad- advantage just for Alexi, though, because I know it's prisoners. <laughs> Amazing! Uh, 15. You know what? Maybe maybe they weren't having a bad day. Maybe. I just don't want to believe They that. seemed cool. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Like, super powerful. I think they, they could have definitely taken us at that moment. Don't get me wrong. Well, yes, we just fought an oak. Yes. But they, you know, they did rub us up the wrong way a little bit. And like I said, you know, don't meet your heroes. Just keep them up on that pedestal. Yeah. Yeah. Just ribbed you a bit. Little. Oh, because you don't have any ribs. Hey! Oh, right, yeah, that, 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 that was objectively very, very funny. Thank you. Oh, wow. I've never seen Alexi laugh this much. Uh, 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 did, did I laugh? I did this. You, you said... Oh, right, sorry. You I said... Know. That's objectively very funny, which is about as close as you get. Uh, it's because he's a scar. Yes, yes. At, at this point, Selena, and a puff of smoke, Tyre reappears, Tyre, uh, with a bundle of carrots, some cabbages, a few potatoes. So, like, drops in front of you. Pat on the head. Uh, Here you go. That, 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 Just want to make no hard feelings. Oh, oh, food? Brilliant. Yes. Oh, veggie as well. Yeah, well, when you can turn into animals, it's a little bit weird eating them. Have at it. Thanks. Continue also, this is Cyril. Also, why I don't eat animals? Don't really do blue. But for the squirrel, you guys are fine. But like, it's weird. Weird, 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 weird. Tyre. Weird having a blue squirrel. Oh, brown squirrels. Oh, well, yeah, he's from the Val. Oh, oh, I'm very sorry. Our squirrels are blue. Oh. A cool. lot of the animals are sort of bluey, whitey, because, you know, blends in with the weird. Sounds like a cool thing. Background. Yeah. Yeah. And what about you? You change to just got a thing where his head's propped up against his head, his hand. He's mm. having a rough morning. She's standing there next to Arnath. Arnath is sort of like having rid of the broth she's been cooking up, and she's just sort of like they're both staring at you, and Ty just sort of turns and whispers into Arnath's ear a little bit. Do I hear them? I was going to say, do I see that? If yeah. Any of you want to make a perception check? I absolutely do. It's right. not going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> Disadvantage, please, Rose. Uh, where's my dice? There it is. Um, oh! Ah! 13. 8. 15. God damn it. Oh shit! I oh. rolled a 5. <laughs> I kind of want to go up to you and be like, Why are you having such a bad reaction? I feel fine. I'm like, look in your uh, eyes. 
What happened? How did you, what did you do? And did you have too much? I sucked it into my finger. Okay, okay. I, I don't know what to do about that. Maybe. Uh, excuse, excuse me, uh, uh, l- l- ladies are tired. tire. Just, just tire, sweetheart. Right. You can call um, me whatever you want. Um, what, what? Oh, jealous. Hmm. Mm, um, <laughs> goes right again. What, what, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what, 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 Tyson up the mountain? Oh, you listen to conversations, do you? Well, when you're talking about my dear friend, well, I... Oh, that's I, uh, very rude. Well, uh, again, I was just asking a question of my... Yes, yes, but it's, it's, uh, he's a dear friend of mine. And, I'm just, uh, okay. I'm right. just inspecting his eyes right now. If I may, the, the, the last... Shh. Right, Palm that finger. needs to stop. Shh. Um, you're cuter when you don't talk. Right. Tire, honey. Mm, listen to that. Honey. I'm sorry, I would, but... Ice and fire. Morn. We'd put each other out. Oh, it could be fun before, though. <sighs> So, yes, we there's a titan, sort of half in a ravine. Oh. A like what? a big, like a massive, gigantic warforged. There's a few of them scattered up top. They're very hard to reach, though. That looks like him. Well, uh, like in, in in passing, sure. How bi- How much bigger? Uh, oh, huge. Like the size of a cathedral, maybe? Oh, like I know about... Feet to- History checks. Val? Yep. All of you. <laughs> from the, from the, but because we are Phil Varel, do we get advantage? History checks, straight rolls. I was just thinking they might be the ones that are from Thildaro, but because they're bigger than him, but not that big. D22. Oh! D20. Eight. <laughs> okay. We so, know shit, because we're from Thildaro. Uh, so, yeah. So both of you know, so you <laughs> being... Guy, you sorry, being sorry. warforged and you with the work your family does, yep. um, you would know there are legends of great old warforged titans. This entire, the Fallen Crown Mountains used to be ruled by ancient white dragons. No, the reason it's called Fallen Crown is because of the great dragon kings that used to work and fight. And these titans were sent up to fight and defeat these dragons. And even now, it's a bit of a gravesite. There are still old remnants of giant warforged that some can find scattered and laying across some of the peaks and some of the ravines. And those of you who are Willing to go up and find it, there are old bits and pieces that you might be able to dig up if you look in the right places. <laughs> you will never be able to fit a piece of armor that is the size of a cathedral. But you never know what's Still, up there. There's, there's yeah, one there way to find out. Stuff up there. You could turn Between into a slave. I, I just wipe over a little bit. Yeah. His ears starts to twirl and a little. You, you realize hearing this. Like, yes, we um we found they're normally quite buried, but one mostly uncovered out a five six day hike. Five, uh, six day hike, in which direction? Up, up the hill. Up, up the mountain, up yes. The mountain. But where, where are you headed, though? We're heading up the mountain. Frostrim. Up the mountain. Right. So, you're probably aware That's of the dwarves, then? An... Yes, we don't get on with the dwarves. No, d- d- apparently not. <laughs> oh, it seems to be a theme for you. <laughs> and you too. Well, uh, I think they, they've they sort of locked this whole place down. Something's riled them up in the last couple of days, and we're not really sure what. Probably us. Probably yes, that us. was most certainly us. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Let's cut the bullshit. What's going on? Uh, soon. Ah, um, right. So we um, we we made our way to Milford, uh, whereupon we were ambushed. Don't go to Milford, by the way. It's a bit of a mess. Well, Milford's disgusting. We're going to Green Basin. Lovely. There's a party there in a couple of weeks. Mm. Lovely. Cool. Fine. You no, don't you don't like to party? party. Uh, he gets more and more disappointing each time. Why do you well, put up with him? Uh, uh, He's got lots of good quality. Perhaps we go and see the Titan and go to the party, celebrate in my new outfit. All right. Well, first of all, <laughs> I, I, I want it to be known that my family's hosted lots of parties, and I'm an absolute. Well, I'm not. I don't like them, but 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 I know how to dance. Um, do you? What? You have a resemblance, like you're a posh boy, right? Abel, you're cast off. What are you doing all the way out here? Oh, Abel's, Abel employed us. Uh, he runs some of the things out on Green Basin. A what? And he was... A caster? What? Did <laughs> he? <Yes. laughs> well, well some of the snow had been causing issues with the area. He had what to deal with it. No, what is this no? cast off? You, you, same. Well, you don't have the signet. I'm, I'm sorry to presume, it's just no, I, get, Myla, I get thrust in front of nobles Myla and you're like from money. Fling the she, she starts swaying a little bit, like a little bit. Oh. Um. Just when you put his hands behind his back. Yeah, like Myla's like flick the ring back behind. <laughs> Sorry, you're not you're not cast up then. My apologies, I didn't mean what to. What is that? Oh, it's a, one you of the noble a noble family from oh, Green Basin. They they oh. don't run the town, but they're based down there. Someone, we don't work for them directly. Someone mistook him uh, mistook you for was it Ablet Ablet? 
Gable. 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 Someone mistook you mm. for um, someone related to him before, I think. We were very confused then as well. But so, so it's this. Make a of... deception check. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> She's not lying. Someone did mis- make like. a persuasion check. <laughs> They're both exactly the same. I don't know why I bother. Fifteen. Cool. Oh, I, I, you get that a lot. My, my apologies. I didn't mean Maybe to. Maybe he's just got one of those faces. You've gone very bright red again. Yes. Happens around beautiful women. Stop it. <laughs> Let us. You should ass- have hit us sooner. This is this is going great. Let us uh, uh, assume for a moment that um, we would be interested in uh, uh, similar em- employment with uh, this master Karstav of yours. Mm. I think it's Karstak. Karstelf. Karstov. No. So, uh, able able Karstov. Well, he's um he's, uh, he's, no, he's you're right, you're right, you're small right. he's small fry. Mm. Um, yes, he is. <laughs> Karstovs are a weak people, aren't they, chum? I wouldn't say that in front of him. He might get a bit offended. Um, mm. It's a bit of a temper. Um, yeah. Does he? <laughs> yes, yes. Um, uh, wait, I, I, I more work from et, 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 Etienne Mosfit. Okay. Uh, one of one of the dwarf dwarven um, makers. They they do deal with most of employment, but it goes through some of the nobles when they make requests. Um, anyway, I feel like we're getting off, off track. If you wanted to look for work, I could maybe ask around. Uh, specifically with. Uh, the, you're, you're master able. Well, you would need to work up to that, obviously. I'll just walk up to a, a lord and, and expect mean, work. First things first. We do you know do nothing of nobility? Come on, they'd you'd be shot. Mm. First things. <laughs> oh, don't you know? <laughs> first things first. We gotta finish our mission for the vow. Yes. Sorry, uh, we, we, we keep getting distracted. A, a large amount of my dead colleagues. Arneth, Arneth walks in and just places a gentle hand on Taya's shoulder. So, we are. Had to go around the long way. Whatever's riled them up. Um, there are dwarven patrols out and about. There is a main road up to, I believe it was Frostrum. I'm mm-hmm. somewhat familiar with the area. Um, but there is one pass through which is being covered by dwarves and I believe some frost giants. Um, whoever, maybe it is the Sarek fellow is them on some sort of payroll. You can take the road, it would be faster. I do not know if speed is necessary. There are some side paths, we could also point them out to you. Um, that would be that great. Is, it's much more dangerous, but we, you would be avoiding uh, direct confrontation. Oh yeah, well, we tend to go by the side paths anyway. We, like right. I'm, I'm quite comfortable in uh, the wilderness and, and woods and things. Right. Um, well, I'm not very good at people. So. Right. That might shock you. Everyone has their place. The Dawn Father has a plan for you as well. I'm sure, my son. Um, I may I ask a question? Uh, you just did. <laughs> Funny. Um, <laughs> you're, you're, you're I think what you mean is that is objectively hilarious. Yes, <laughs> <But> it's not. <laughs> um, you, you're, you're, you are a, 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 a paladin, I believe it was. Um, yes, yes, of the Dawn Father. Ye- yes, yes, yes. Um, a righteous knight. R- y- y- yes. Um, but but your friend Russ is uh, undead. Uh, yes, I don't like to talk about it. Rem- he- Russ said. I do, he oh. saved my life and I've slightly saved his and that's about the level of the relationship we're going to get into uh, right yes okay I mean do you really need to know um well I'm, I'm, I'm very curious it's very personal and you did attack us last night I feel like that's about as good as we're going to get uh, I, I feel like I didn't you attack, attack you at all them? technically I Alexi did not attack you, you know Alexi what? was asleep could I ask you more about <laughs> oh, yeah, the titans too. <laughs> Alexi is very aware that his name has just been said out loud. Fuck. Um, one thing at a time. Take the note. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, the main path or the sides? Uh, um, the sides? Side, side please, yeah. Do you think okay. maybe we could quickly have a moment to discuss amongst ourselves before we make a choice? Would you mind? Oh, well, I mean, no, we we're, we're not going with you. No. Uh, just thought we would have a moment. Of, of course, okay? of course. I am. Um, maybe I tries to encourage a group huddle. Uh, Alexi will pick up one of the like, bits of veg. <laughs> like Arnif is just standing there hold, <laughs> holding Russ with Tyron. You guys just make a little huddle while they just sort of stand there well, awkwardly. We need to make a plan. Um, uh, Alexi, B-O-N. I don't know, you're a cast off? It's the least convincing eating anyone's ever seen. <laughs> it's not bad. Milo's going to eat some veg. <laughs> maybe. Maybe we could ask them if they would come with us. I we need some help. There's so much. How going much on money there. do we have? 
Oh. I don't know. Let me check. A massive cabinet. Oh. Protrude. <laughs> uh, yeah, he does that now. End of my thing. And may I just may I, may I have the uh, <laughs> pocket fairy box, a whistle, a coin in the button, rocks. smoke, <laughs> four rocks fall out. That is new. That is entirely new. How does it work? Not right now. Not right now. <laughs> Uh, 763 GP. I had a thought, maybe I could promise them a reward from the Vale. Checking some, for a reward from the Vale. Maybe some Rylinthium. Uh, all our Rylinthium is... Um, no, but once we take Xeric out, there's going to be plenty there. B- potentially, yes. You, you, you mean to tie them on as mercenaries? We need... To, I mean, there's so much... There were too many in that bar. That is very true, yes. And I'm very happy they, to work with them. They seem great. Right. Are you okay working with them? Mm-hmm. Um. You able cast of look alike you? Yes, m- maybe maybe I can um, subtly find out more Im- information. Um, uh, and you know, um, stay on the other side of all conversations from uh, the the one that keeps looking at me like I'm a piece of meat. Oh, you could get. Who looks at real you like well. a piece of? Who's going to eat you? Um, I don't know, but it, it, it's, it's... She waves. Oh, you mean the one that's hot? Yeah, yeah, sure. They're yeah. not actually listening. I'm Alexi, yeah, yeah, yeah. red again, wave. <laughs> Just... I will take that arrow for you. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I not fucking surprised? I mean, you could be fucking surprised. <laughs> you wanted... I, I, I could not take that arrow. You want, you want to go have that conversation? Go am on. I being pushed or am I staying here? But, a choice. Um, l- l- I'll l- protect you from the scary lady. She's not scared. Right, okay. We'll, 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 <laughs> and then I wave. We'll, 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 Damn, we'll go and. We'll, yes, yes, I'm, I'm very rich and she can sense it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, hide them on then. Perhaps we could sweeten a deal yeah. with one times tapestry, one times cast of wax, and one times box of fancy hats. <laughs> Ooh, fancy hats. Ty, do you and your people like hats? <laughs> um, they don't really work. And you look, her hair is literally oh, well, fire. Yeah, yeah, yes, of course. I, mean, I put a fancy you know. hat on. Uh, they're fine. Right. Has a look. How do you want me to dress up? Mm. Um. Oh, okay. Let's. Oh, it's very early for this. Let's. Let's. <laughs> the jealousy. The jealousy. <sighs> anyway. Um. <clears throat> we, 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 we're actually we, we were wondering um, if 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 your no, your, your 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 people would would rather uh, like to be hired by us. Would you help us if we could pay if the veil could pay you kindly upon completion? Let me confer with my associates. Thank you. If plus I six persuasion, wait. plus six persuasion. I'm not asking you for a persuasion. No, so. I'm not I'm not saying that you are. I'm talking to David. Out of character. <laughs> Tyre can't hear this. <laughs> Alexi is so down just a wave. Um Arnath ste- spe- oh, yeah, steps out. I I worry. It's been two months since we've seen our friends and families and Beetle is and you look at Beetle's still very, very beat up, having nearly died the day before. I'm not sure we're in a state to assist you in what seems to be a dangerous mission. I can probably get Beetle back, like, in pretty good nick. I can I can help with that. Um, it, it is a dangerous mission, but that's why we need help, and I don't know what you've earned for vanquishing snow giants, but I think the pockets of the Val are deeper than the pockets of Green Basin. You'd be surprised. I'm not much of a gunner for gold, as it were, but mm. what about some uh, piety gold? does does need does need to be funded as well, and I know Taya is expensive taste. I, <laughs> I, like I goes, that. told you. <laughs> <laughs> I would say we would need at least. 3,000 gold for us to consider this. And I'm not... I'm not sure. I would need to put it to a vote. Well, I think what I could offer you is three shards of Rylinthium crystal, raw, 
and your pick of weapons from the stronghold. Also red and theme infused. Might be more than 3,000 gold. All right, here's your possession check. <laughs> oh. oh! I should have guidanced you. You should have, yeah. Thanks I'm a fool. Sorry, uh, Rose. 14. That's not enough. No. Can I lucky her? Oh, you oh, can. <laughs> yes, you can. Is that? Oh my god, you can. Guidance! <laughs> me, me, no. Metal, uh, no, there's metal no guidance. Free, okay. Metal three leaf clover, slightly green. I just press it, <laughs> it rewinds slightly at the moment. <laughs> Come on, baby. I have loyalty to you. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's an eight again! The same number! Same number. <laughs> Sorry, Jeffa. The clover comes out and doesn't quite seem to work. Oh, and it was the exact same good. thing happens. Oh, great, great play though. Great play. Well yeah, done. Well done. Oh. I will tell you what. We will give you some supplies and assist with how we can. Um, and should you find yourselves in Green Basin, we would be happy to host you for a moment. Um, but I'm afraid this isn't a quest we can no, Jaffa. assist you with at this point. It's too dangerous and we are too far gone. And Russ then. lost his body fighting elementals. Yeah! Inside check. <laughs> sure, go for it. Um, the, 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 no, four. You don't have a Wait, this is recent? Yes. Yeah, I thought he was Yeah, I, I was like talking the town. Oh. Yeah, I'll get a new one, it's fine. Okay. They grew back. Oh, that's I good. Yeah, yeah. Ty's sure. like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Milo's like, yeah. If you, um, if you find it, I'll pay you. If you can find my body, like. What does it look like? Uh, like a skeleton. A skeleton in a black robe. Right. Without a and head. And a crystal orb. The crystal orb's really important. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll keep, keep an eye out. Good. And we'll Fell down a ravine somewhere fighting off a, a big frost monster. Ah, they are notoriously difficult to um, climb down. Yeah, they're not great. No. We'll do what we can. Yeah. Um, and hopefully see what a party at yeah. one point. You'll you'll be able to spot him because he'll be the one hiding in a corner not talking to anyone. Mm. Oh, I don't think Ty's going to allow that. We can hide in a corner. So, um, they finish discussions, they give you some supplies. Um, Russ. So, Titan. Yes. Um, pick me up. And he slowly that that up oh, up oh, no 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 right no there cool um and you lock your arms and he starts to mutter and chatter a little bit and you suddenly feel like this image of a titan appear in your mind half frozen in ice missing an arm and giant sprawled across as if something had dropped it from very high in the sky and it just landed um but you now have a very keen idea on exactly where that is, and you would know where to find it if you wanted it to. As it casts essentially a high level locate object in, in your brain, and you have a archaic sense of exactly where mm-hmm. to find that, if you should so wish. Wonderful. Now, this will wear off in about a week. Stay away from restoration. Don't die. And uh, let me know what you find, because it's pretty cool up there. And watch out for, well, monsters. Higher you go, dangerous it gets. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. And get better at the zappy thing. Sorry about that. It's yeah. okay. I was a different person last night. <laughs> I feel tremendously regretful today. It's fine. <laughs> well, he strokes the top of his head. Oh. Don't, don't do that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the hat falls off. Yeah. And <laughs> Pick his- <laughs> <laughs> you do see, when the hat falls off, mm. a red gem jammed into the top of it, swirling with... Don't, don't, don't do it. A similar energy to what you've seen with some of the Rylanthium. Similar, not not exactly, but like, there's something inside that that's swirling around. Um, Would you like to do anything? I want to try... Is it, oh, is it attached to his head? It is, it's like someone like jammed it in there. Does, does he know it? Does he know it's in there? He, I, I don't know. There's one way to find out. I'm gonna try and slap hand it. <laughs> Go for it. 
You're going to so kill the, the skull. In the finger, I uh, yeah, a tiny little cross like little. Yep, I also yep, have yep, a, a yep. lockpick tools. So almost scalpel type thing. <coughs> sure. Um, may, uh, may I just hold you up one more time just to get another, just, just to lock onto the sure. target once more? Yep, just, yep go it for it. Make your run. Won't, won't be long. Are we going to fight these people? No. Okay, oh, don't worry, I've got, I've got a great sleight of hand, so. <laughs> uh, but he's going to die sure. the he's second you pull die, that gem yeah. out. 18. Oh, God. Plus? No, it's totally. Okay, all right. So you go and you run your hands over the top. I said, don't touch my. And then he pauses and it's jams. Like, you can't, you can't get a good grip on it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. I see how it's going to be. All right. I was just checking to see if it was causing uh, much the pain. image. In your mind of the Titan vanishes. I was just checking. Put to me see down. It wouldn't hurt you. Put me down. Did that, that Put me down. You? Yep. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I don't. Ty, I think I think we're done. I think we're done here. I I I, I would like to. Um, I will, I, uh, with an eighteen, I don't think any of you saw this. I think oh. it was just something between the two. While that was happening. Yes, sorry, Rosie, you were waiting. Could I do an insight check on Taya? I want to know if she. Knows who Alexi is. Go for it. Because she might be trying to flirt with him for another reason. Um, um, I might do the same. Is it so song. difficult to believe that someone just finds me attractive? Uh, <laughs> mostly not at all, darling. But I'm concerned for you. Yeah, Mila's worried, worried that she's killed. recognized. Yeah, go for it. Stuff, so <laughs> cool. Uh, what's I got? Sorry, what's say that again? I got I've done the same. I got. I, I got a fifteen. Sixteen. Okay, um, you would both know she's barely taken her eyes off Alexi, but it doesn't seem to have changed is since. It a saucy way, actually, or is it? You like have looked a... at many people in a similar way before, so I, it looks like. It's a saucy if anything, way. it did pick up when she thought money might be involved, but as soon as she figured out or realized that Alexi wasn't a cast of, but there's definitely an element of mercenary gold digger in that front. <laughs> Alexi himself is going. The room is a little bit tense after this last little interaction. Why are you going? What what happened, Russ? Uh, Russ I Russ, don't want to talk about it. Russ had something caught in his head. I tried to remove it for him, and he got oh. angry at yeah, for, uh, angry at me for it. Yeah, oh. don't you don't touch a man's gem. Come on. No, a gem in your head? Yeah, let's moving on. Okay. Oh, I'm I'm so very sorry. I, I, that that that. It was a you and I will speak about this later. It was stuck oh my in god, time. when did you become the daddy of the group? I, I don't know. I, clearly at one point Stop recently. I, I was like the daddy? It. Sorry, sorry. i I got I got to stop. I, I stop. fed you that. Yeah, you did, you, you did, you did. I slam dunk that. I would like to apologise on behalf of my companion. That's fine. Good help's hard to find. Well, before we offend anyone else, um, I believe that's that. So, uh... They draw a crude map for you, one that shows the road that'll take you up to Frostrum, and then some of the back paths that'll take you that way as well. Um, you will have a vague direction, at least, of where the Titan is, so you haven't lost it completely, but mm-hmm. it's going to be much harder for you to find now if you decide to go that route. Consequences for your actions, man. Uh, damn consequences. Yeah. Let this be a lesson to you. Well, well, <laughs> well, but isn't the consequences to my own actions? <laughs> yeah. They gather the things um, entire. Well, lovely to meet you all. Really nice to meet you. It was really nice to meet you. Best of luck. <coughs> um, Bye, Rose. See you in Bye, doesn't like Bye, the bronze Arnett. blues Bye, too Bye, much, Taya. so if you do put a herd in, keep it up. I'll Good. see you in a green basin. Yes, party. Right. Yes. Um, wink. Wink. Uh, uh, <laughs> Make a charisma check. <laughs> <laughs> Just a straight charisma roll. Oh, no. Watching that 20 of this. Assist. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on that. Yeah, that I'm, I'm, I'm not, I, I don't. I, uh, He's got a lot of learning to be done. She, she comes in, she puts her hand on your chest, and she just kisses you on the cheek a little bit, and then just gently pushes away as she walks and vanishes as the other three start walking to the distance. Mm. Not two, one of them carrying. It's been so long since I've had sex. <sighs> so. <laughs> it's early morning. Mayway's still a little bit exhausted. Um. What would you like to do next? When do you think we will leave to go see the Titans? Oh, well, we, 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 need to, uh, we need to deal with Sarek first. Before we should start? all get going up the mountain towards Frostrim. Uh, follow y- this map. Y- y- yes, um, we'll take the, the, the side uh, ways and we'll, we'll, we'll 
sort oh of from God. there. Oh my God, it's oh, amazing. I need to send a message to the bell. Uh, better to send it once K Fury is dead. Yep, but. Do we all have to go to K Fury? So many dead. Better to send it once we've confirmed. So, looking at the map that they made, going by the roads, assuming no trouble happens, take two days to get there okay. at a normal pace. You can go faster or slower, depending. A normal pace on the side roads, assuming nothing bad happens, will take three and a half days. Side roads. Yes, if we... Did they mark on the map where the gravesite is? Yes. Can we, you know, is can it I on the way? Can I mark on the map where I remember? Uh, sorry? Sorry, sorry. No, no. So can I mark on the map where I remember where the Titans were just quickly before it goes? It's it's off the map, but you can you can, can mark the direction the it's in. Yes, so you, you'll, you'll have a record of that. Uh, yeah, you would have to go... Uh, if you go the side road, you would have to go out of the way. It's definitely on the main road. But that's up to you. Well, do we want to fight a load of dwarfs, or do we want to risk whatever's in the wilderness? He... I think we want to go see the Val on the way back down anyway, right? What if they're gone? I don't think they'll be gone. I didn't know Echoes. Echoes, I don't think they stay after you die. And they said that the Echoes were still there. The Echoes were still there? They said Black Shadows were... They have Echoes? That's why I think that they're part of the library. Hmm. There. Sorry, I forgot. You guys might have been asleep. Um, Black shadows next to them. Library agents. High level library agents to have echoes. So you want to try and get them first? I don't know. If it was close by... I wouldn't say no just to go and to look. Based based on it would be a day and a half if you went the main road. It'd probably be two days if you went on the side streets and veered off, but obviously they've got to go there and come back. So there are ways around it. I'll write all this up for you, hasn't it? If you want to go, it's your call. Alexi, what do you think? I I, I think that um if this has been done by Sarek, then um, it, it could be a trap. Uh, if it, this is going to sound very callous, if I wanted to um, trap you, to lure you somewhere, that is exactly what I would do. Um, so I... He, he wants us to go quickly uh, and to bog us down with people. And if you truly do want to do this, then we will get to a point where we can see it and 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 I will try and come up with some sort of strategy. But it's it's going to be very dangerous. And if echoes do not stay after one has fallen, then that leads to many other potential uh, explanations as to why they are. the echoes are still there. When Mayway went down in Milford, did her echo stay? I can't remember. No, I don't know. Did not. No. Well, I mean, I went down, but, you know, I've seen people go down before. And echoes don't stay. I'll go wherever you want to go. How about a vote? There's four of us that, um... I abstain. Well... I vote to the Titan. <laughs> Do you Me. know what empathy is, Dee? Uh, Sorry? Do you know what empathy is? Searching? No. Okay. Maybe at some point we can have a chat about that. Alexi puts his hand on Mayo. Um, if you want to go, then I'm I, I'm with you. Sarek first. 
for what it's worth, I think that's a very responsible decision. I really want to go. I really want to go find them. I do, but you are smarter than me, and I'm not exactly a tactician. So I'm gonna take your advice, so I can bring Sarek K. Fury to justice, and then we can bury them in the knowledge that they they've been avenged. Or free them if they're still alive. Yeah, I mean, there are there are graveyards back home where people are meant to go. I need to, I need to find a church. I need to find a temple. I need I need some guidance from someone just a little bit more high up than me. I just hit things. This is so far out of my. The house of expertise. Are you worried that these people might be related to you? Um, well, I guess they're my siblings in a way, because maybe we all trained together. Maybe they trained me. I don't know who's there. I might not know any of them, but still, we all represent the same institution. We all fight for the Vale and for our own. How would you, you feel? feel? For, you feel for them what you feel for us? It's different. How? I didn't choose them. I chose you guys. You are I think if you want you. to go, then you should go, otherwise you might have something called regret. A quick definition of regret means this is not a nice thing to have. <laughs> then we go see Titan. We have to kill Seth. No, no. I misspoke. We are not going to kill Sarek. We are going to bring him to justice. I would rather be all right if we killed him. Yeah, I think we should kill him. Kill him. I, I think that we should chain him up and drag him back to the Vale, face down on the road. Oh, um, wait. Right, that, that, that would kill him. No, maybe not. We uh, don't know. It, 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 that, um, also, that would mean that you have to pass through Coldhaven. Okay, how about interrogation before killing? Right. That, oh, 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 yes, of course. Maybe. I'm not really into cold-blooded killing. What, I mean, you seem to be what getting... What is warm-blooded killing? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I actually don't know the answer to that. I... It's... There are laws, there are rules of right and wrong, and there are right way to be, and... I don't like to kill people unless I have to. So if I have to kill him, then okay. But if we can take him prisoner, that's the right thing to do. I'm just going to put it out there that I'm not going to pull any punches. Also, I wholeheartedly believe I'm the wrong person to have the um, is it necessary to kill people conversation with. Fair enough. Oh. Ah. Well, well, objectively, it's always necessary for me. I Same. understand. I, yeah. I, may way I've, I've thought about this for the I last. Need. Um, I, I have a theory on what, why their echoes may still be. It could be that their bodies are alive, but their souls have been taken. What? I, I thought you were going to say torture. No, 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 no. Um, well, I, 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 I don't, I, I don't really know how it works with souls and so on. But um, I mean, he, he was definitely doing something in that tavern. It seemed to. Oh my God! Yeah, you said there were souls. I didn't see that part. You were unconscious. Yes. It does sound very much like a trap. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Let's let's go and find Sarek, and then I hope that you know. I hope that I don't find any of my friends nailed to trees. I think that's something we all hope. Mm. Yeah, I would just be bad. I think no matter yep. what. Mm. Well then, let's all agree to try not to get nailed to trees. Um. Yep. Yes. Uh, I agree with that. Well. 
no time like the present to the um, side passages. Then. Side passages? Yes. Okay. Side passages. Um. All right. So we're taking the difficult way yeah. yes. on the side. Very good. Okay. Um, so just last sort of rolls for the evening. I just need survival checks for whoever's leading the exp- excursion just to see where we end up <laughs> and so I know where to plan for the next episode. What's up? Myla. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Uh, Lexi will assist if you can. Sure. Oh, dear. Oh, uh, cool. Nice. Um, so you're assisting. So Is that allowed? Knowledge. Oh yeah, absolutely. Cool. I mean, like, unless it's a natural twenty, it won't be any better. I got a nineteen, so that's cool. twenty-seven. So you head out, and it's it's a clear enough day, plenty of light, still quite cold, and only you are really suffering suffering from it. Your joints get a little bit stiff every now and then. You tuck out of the way of a couple of patrols, and you see, still see, on the distant road, there is still a lot of traffic heading back and forth, carts carrying Ithilbark and all sorts, with dwarves heading back and towards Milford. Um, but. After about half a day sort of hiking, uh, you do sort of come to the base of the mountain as the terrain gets rougher and rougher. Oh. 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 You know Guys, there's been a blanket been a over something in the corner. Green cool something. Oh, oh my god! god. Do I actually think I can no, fit it's this? not getting in. It's not getting in. How yeah, the fuck? Oh, That's... Jesus. We're gonna... No, no, no. no. Go. You go assist. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I think we're good. I think we're good. I don't, oh. I don't think we are. Di- died from that end. <laughs> there we go. To me, to you. What an ever loving yeah. fudge. So as that's so sick. The four of you arrive at the base of the mountain. Wowza. What the hell? The paths would have been a lot easier. But you now find yourselves ready to scale this monstrous <sighs> little hell. And who knows? Who knows what's gonna be ahead of you for the next part of the journey. But that's where we're gonna end tonight's episode. <sighs> oh my god. Amazing job on that. I That's wish I wish I could take cool. credit for this. This is from Penny Four, uh, from lovely guy in Cambria. Um, but yeah, they finished some production and lent me a bunch of not not another guy uh, finished some lovely production stuff. And I thought, hey, you've got some lovely models and bits, and I can absolutely use this for a thing I've been planning for a while. So oh my yeah, God. that is incredible. Amazing. It's gonna be a good time, and we'll make sure we get the cameras and everything else right. So with that being said, thanks so much. Another great episode as always. Uh-huh. Stay frosty, because we started on that, right? <laughs> <laughs> and we'll catch you next time on Who Lives to Dice. Bye, 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 bye. 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 <laughs> yeah, but no one says that. It means Bernardo <laughs> for the rest of your All right. It means Danada for the rest of your day. But yeah, like literally, whenever I'm in Spain, the, the like conversation I have the most is gracias, Danada. Like just mm. constantly, over and over again. Tiene D22 una sombra de tu corazón, del corazón. <laughs> Someone's just been to Spain, I can tell. Reeling off the accent. My, yeah, my, the Spain, accent. my Spanish got really good while I was there. My, my Spain's so good. Now. My Spain, <laughs> my Spain <laughs> is tip top. Yeah. Like to Spain so hard. <laughs> you know, Spain all in your mouth. You choose to spend time with them, David. <laughs> you choose to do. You want to leave a big kiss mark on your cheek you before it's done. <laughs> That'll set the rumor yeah. mill going. David just there going, that pays you enormous that amounts of money to be here. Money. Truly. <laughs> 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 The paycheck will be coming in. <laughs> it must be coming in one day. Lost in the mail. I don't know what to say, mate. <laughs>